So good. Okay, thank you. So we uh, we start to uh, record uh, the web uh, the uh, our meeting right now. So again, welcome to everybody. Okay. So today the first session that uh, you practice with uh, Vietnamese Viet MD instructors about um, uh, medical taking uh, taking medical history with the old car framework. So uh, we're lucky that to have um, uh, Dr. Uh, Luang and Dr. Min. They are uh, Dr. Min is a uh, uh, hi Min. Okay, just turn on the mic and say something to the class, uh, Min. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Mindo. Uh, welcome everybody to this uh, very first section of uh, this class. Um, I hope that uh, you're gonna take all the advantage of, full advantages of this class to improve your, your English. Um, we have a very dedicated instructor here and uh, and Din and Jilang. Uh, so yeah, um, they're very dedicated. They have full knowledge and um, We'll uh, be with you on the way. So uh, I hope you do take advantage of this to improve your skill and your knowledge in medical English. Um, no matter how much um, we are willing to, to show you, to, uh, to help you, uh, the main part is on, on you, on yourself. So um, do your best and good luck. Okay, now, uh, could we start now? Okay. Now, first, I, I will be your victim. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I am your first patient. And I ask Team A, anybody in Team A, play a role as a doctor as a, or as a medical student and ask me, okay? First, you have to introduce yourself and then you ask about chief's complaint and use our own work framework uh, to take medical history. Okay, now go ahead. Who else? Who is the first volunteer? Team A. Now, team leader, Dr. Fu. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Turn on, turn on your mic, Kepfu. Yeah. Me? Yeah. So, uh, good evening. I am uh, Dr. Fu, your internal medicine physician. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, uh, so you must be Mr. I send that uh, full, maybe you use a different uh, microphone because that one is a, a lot of echo, it's a lot of noisy there. Maybe you borrow uh, one of your friend's uh, cell phone and you can talk if it is easy. Okay, now go ahead. If you wish, that's it. We try again, okay? Now. Okay. 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 Oh, nice a Uh, again, try again. You have to unmute your mic on your cell phone, on your screen. Sorry. It doesn't work, okay? Just uh, ask somebody else, uh, cell phone to talk, it says it's easier. Okay, anybody uh, give uh, Dr. Fu a cell phone, it's okay. Can you hear me? Yes. This is better? Okay. Here we go. Good evening. I am 
Doctor Who. Uh, no, I, no, 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 no. I don't think it's work. Uh, I think if they share the same speaker, it's going to be problematic. Yeah, I think that um, they may have the bad uh, microphone or they cannot share the same speaker. Um, maybe you start with the other team and uh, let's just team uh, solve the technical issue. And then... Okay. Now, uh, Linh Thị Ngọc Anh. Are you ready? Ngọc Anh. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> the same how oh, i don't know um, yeah i'm not sure what's Hello. the best way to do the yesterday Hello. we tested very well i think about uh we turn off all the one we use one for 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 um talk together only we turn off all the one yeah, but then the author cannot hear the feedback from the instructor. Um, mm -hmm. But maybe that Hello. what we do Sorry. for now then. Just me. Who, 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 who talked just me? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm using the laptop. Good. Can you hear me better? Very clear. Good. Okay, so we can use this one for interrupting. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't watch your face. <laughs> oh, yeah. So let me change the webcam. Wait a minute. Okay. Good. That's good now. Okay. That's okay. Good. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Yeah. So, go. Beginning. Uh, uh, go back to the beginning. Okay. okay. Um. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm Dr. Fu, your internal medicine physician. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yes. So you must be Mr. Dean. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Dean. Yeah. So, uh, can you tell me the, what's your problem? Oh, I have the pain. In my belly. Oh, I see. So, uh, when did it start? Oh, just yesterday. Just yesterday. Yes. So, what yeah. were you doing when it happened? Oh, I just lying down. I don't want to eat, and I don't want to do, I don't want to play games or something now. Oh yeah. So, uh, can you tell me what? What happening when that pain comes to you? Uh, I think that just after dinner, I feel something wrong with my belly, and then uh, the pain, the pain there, it's just that more and more. Yeah, it's been more. So, does it uh, non stop pain, or did it come and then go? It's just continuously, a little bit. Sometimes down, sometimes a little bit up, but always. Yes, yes uh, I see. Um, so, uh, what is the exact place in your belly that the pain comes? Okay, I don't know what you mean. Okay, sorry. Um, so, um, where is it? Where is the pain? Oh, yeah, now, okay. It's just in the bottom of my belly and on the right side. Yeah. Uh, did it radiate you somewhere else or just stay at that place? I don't think so. I just stay around there. It's all the time there. Yeah. So, um, on a scale from 0 to 10, how would you rate that pain? You say it's now? Yes. Okay. 
Now I think that uh, my rate, uh, what did you say on the scale of five, scale of 10, or scale of 20, or what? On a scale from O, which means uh, very, very light pain, and to 10, very, very serious pain. What you rate it? How you rate it? Around seven. Seven for now. Yeah. Yeah. So and does it. Yeah, if I move, it's maybe over 11. Uh, yes. So it, the, the severity of the pain uh, differ with your movement, isn't it? Yeah, when I move, it's more. It looks like yeah. more. Okay. Uh, so what makes it worse uh, other than movement? Oh, I just told you when I move. Uh, but is there other factors that make you feel worse with your pain? Uh, like uh, easy or mm -hmm. uh, If I lay down still, it's a little bit better. But if I move or like it when I stand up from and sitting a little bit more. Okay. Um, so does it differ from this moment than in the past where it first comes to you? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Uh, I mean that when the when you feel the pain for the first time, the does the severity of that pain differs with that pain at the moment? Okay, I told you already. Okay. 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 <laughs> the first side is a little bit, and they said like it's consistently and just up and down. So now, uh, can you tell me what makes you feel better with your pain? Mm, I don't think I don't have anything that makes me feel better. I just take it more and more painful now. Does laying down help you feel better? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And uh, tell me, um, since you have that pain, do you take any medication? Or treatment before? Oh, I take some Tylenol, but it, it, it doesn't work. Oh, pass. Okay, now stop here. Okay, yeah. good. You're yeah, very good in the interview. Okay. Everybody, listen to uh, his interview already. Yeah? But first one, I would like to ask uh, Dr. Fu yes. that uh, how do you, how do you, feel that your performance from it. Okay. Okay. Uh, you think that you you ask all the questions from all cards yet? Or you feel that you can do which one that can, can you do better? Uh your your sound voice. I couldn't hear anything. No no no. No, 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 I couldn't hear anything. Sorry, Dr. Fu, something wrong with your sound. Hello? So I think that uh, in my performance, I missed some questions. Uh, that is about the duration and some uh, association signs. Yes, that's what I missed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, I think my performance is not very good. Uh, no, it's okay. I can make it better. A little bit slow, okay. A lot of pauses, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Now, move ahead to somebody else, try to finish um, the interview. Okay, so any of you see that you have any more question about me, about your patient, that you can complete it and you think about the possibility 
some the possible diagnosis here. So uh, the same with team A. Đinh Chí Thiện. Ok, Đinh Chí Thiện. Hey. Ok, keep going. Yeah, just again, you back uh, same introduct, uh, same introduct introduction, and then you keep going with your interview. Okay. Speak louder. Speak. Speak louder. Okay. Um, uh, my name is Lin Chi Ting, and I'm a six-year student with Dr. Fu. And uh, Dr. Fu asked me to uh, give you the report about the project name. And I have some questions for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, will, I, I will ask some more questions about your plan. Okay, now, just a moment, uh, Ting. Just a moment, Ting. When you speak to the patient, Okay, try to speak louder and clear. Okay, so again, try it. Like you, you in audience, huh? you like an actor, you should speak louder. Could it hear you? Can you start again? Yes. Yeah. Hello, Miss Green. Um, my name is Green Green. Uh, I'm a six-year student. And the reason why I come to see you is that the court asked me to report about the case to you. And uh, could I ask you two questions? Sure. Yeah. Um, I thought something about the pen, and now I will, I will ask you two more questions. What, the, what does your pen do like? Again, sorry, what did you say again? What does your pen do like? Could you use a different phrase that I can understand? Because I can't understand what you say. What? No, don't use that mic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ask you, what does your pen feel like? What do your pen? What does your pen feel like? How do you feel about pen? Sorry, how? It just stuck or stopping? Oh, I see. Okay. How about my pain? Right. It's done one. Sometimes it's a little bit sharp, but usually the done one there. Yeah. And have, have you ever had any similar pain before? Good to me. Okay. Again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I never had that kind of pain before. No. But at all, no one in family had that pain before. Like that. What, what do you say again? <laughs> okay, now then you think. Okay, beside the technical problem, which the sounds not good, but um, your voice should be clearer. Okay, because otherwise, because the same mic, but I a little bit easier understand understood what Doctor Fu say. 
So now try again. Speak slowly and clearly. Okay. You don't need to speak fast, but you need to speak slowly. Just one sentence. I give you one sentence and you speak how I can understand you. Okay. Because if you see the patient and if they couldn't understand what you say, how come? Okay. You may under, may not understand what they say, but but you have to show and have to show that how they can they can understand you. Mm -hmm. Okay, just one sentence for me. Okay, speak what one sentence that I can understand you? Can you with the pen? Can you with the pen? Can you move? Just go around. Can you move? I'll go around. Okay, so move. Okay, okay, okay. I told Dr. Fu uh, before that if I lay down, the pain is much better. But if I move a little bit, and especially when I lay down and I stand up or I sit up a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Okay, now, the other one. Okay, uh, Dr. Uh, Min. You have any uh, feedback for us? Because uh, I'm not sure that we, how do we carry out? Because if we have 15 people here, we have to ask one by one to make sure that how they for performance. Okay, yeah, hi. Go ahead, uh, Min. Hi, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I know that we have some technical issue over here. So, uh, uh, seem like the last student thing. Huh? Yeah, seem like you, um, I think I believe that your speaking skill is good, but uh, the microphone just cannot pick up your voice properly. So it's make it difficult. Um, just one feedback about Dr. Fu earlier. Um, he mentioned uh, he introduced himself as an uh, internal physicist. Uh, actually, it's, um, yeah, it could be just a, a doctor or physician. Physicist is um, the, the one uh, um, work in physics, uh, not not physicians. Um, yeah, physicist is uh, not the correct term. And uh, when someone asks you to rephrase again, uh, don't say sorry. Um, just like, let me rephrase that. Uh, there's nothing to say sorry over here, and it's make you look a bit weak if you say sorry. So uh, if someone not understand you, just like, okay, let me uh, rephrase that. Or let me put it a different way. This is the yeah, it's the fair and it's the easier. Um, yeah, I don't know whether any way we can improve the technical aspect over here, but uh, uh, for the next one, I suggest um, everyone uh, have uh, in front of you a piece of paper, a checklist of the old card, and you follow through and you uh, check whatever answers so that uh, when uh, Dr. Din pick on another one, you get a brief summary of what had been uh, discussed and move on from there. So everybody uh, need to be engaged in, in this conversation. Uh, how about that? Hello, Dr. Luang. Any, any uh, opinion, any feedback? So far, we so we Okay, now Trúc Vũ, Trúc Vũ. Okay, you want to say something? Yeah, sure. Okay, just unmute your mic for us. Okay, good. Um, okay. So maybe for the first day before we improve on the technical aspect, maybe uh, just use the headset and uh, only that one in the room can hear and uh, mm -hmm. from, yeah, people from different room can hear, but uh, those who share the same speaker is gonna be, yeah, difficult. Okay, go ahead, Trukvo. Sorry, couldn't hear it again. Uh, speak louder, a little bit louder, Trukvo. <laughs> Hug. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
None, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, when it's up to 11, uh, I find it becomes sense because the, the scale is from zero, it's no pain, and 10 is the worst pain you have ever had. And, and uh, you cannot rest it to 11. Yeah. And uh, I want to ask about the characteristic of your pain. Is it cramping? Or, um, um, yes, I want to ask for more detail. Can you describe it? Okay. Uh, hi, Dr. Uh, hi, Dr. Luang. Please, <laughs> please tell them something about it. <laughs> um, yes. Um, I, to, to speak uh, to students, Sorry, Dr. Pu and one student. I think you follow OCA very good, but um, the same Dr. Min say you need the repair for you do free work. You write in what question you want to ask the, the patient. That um, make better compare. Uh, do not repair everything. And other one, um, I. I feel something you ask the question, you put the doctor, the patient a lot. You need to say, look like, please, can you tell me this and this and this? Or um, you need to say, uh, slow and the blue. I think um, the student come in. You need to uh, talk slow and the clear to the patient. And scale for pens, we count 0 to 10. Um, look like you can come in Google, you look what number 1, what number 2, number 3. After that, uh, the patient will tell you, look like number 7, you know what the level of the patient pen. I have uh, some some idea look like this. Thank you. Okay, yeah. I just want to tell you about why I say that number eleven. Number eleven is not in the rate uh, of scale ten. Okay, but some people they have a little bit uh, humor. Sorry, <laughs> they just access rate. Yeah. Okay, so it's like you ask. Okay, from zero to ten, and can they say the worst pain? And they say, no, I have 20, okay? So it's out of scale, okay? Because they so in terrible pain. So that's why they take them, okay? So don't take that for a very serious one because pain is very subjective feeling, okay? No machine can measure the pain, okay? It's up to the patient to rate that. So you have to base on the patient say, okay? When the patient say, oh, 11 over 10, I say that it's, it's very, very good. Okay. Okay. Now, um, we have two people now. Uh, so, Ngan, you want to be the, uh, the next one to ask? Uh, okay. Okay. And uh, I, uh, Dr. Min, <laughs> okay, I just asked you to be a patient and let, uh, let Ngan. Yeah, yeah, you. Okay. Don't turn, don't turn your head. <laughs> now you go ahead to play uh, to play the role of the student, and uh, Dr. Min will be your patient. Okay. Good. Go ahead. Quick, quick. <laughs> oh no! Cannot hear you. No sound. No sound. Sorry, cannot hear you. Hi, doctor. Can you speak up? I have very hard of hearing. I cannot hear you. Hi, doctor. 
Sorry, I cannot hear you. I may need my hearing aid. I cannot hear you. Uh, no, no, sorry. Now, the best solution that just you, somebody in this room with a cell phone that is speak clearly and we can use it because otherwise we, 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 we can uh, continue the, this class. Huh? Any cell phone that, that have the sound very good one? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, that's better now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Nong. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a fifth year student of Gumpo University. Um, and today I'm going to ask you about your problem because Dr. Wong wants me to report her about your problem. Could I ask you some questions? Okay, sure. Uh, what brings you today? Oh, I have a pain in my belly and it's getting worse. Um, uh, when did it start? Uh, it starts sometime this morning uh, around, yeah, around breakfast, 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. um, can you uh, point it with uh, one finger? Uh, around my belly button, right here. Um, uh, when uh, when it starts, it is uh, gradual or sudden? Uh, it's getting worse and worse. Initially, I thought that it's going to go away, but uh, yeah, it's turned out it's keep getting worse. Uh, how long does it last? I'm still having pain right now, doctor. Uh, it's getting worse. Uh, it is um, it is uh, stable or it is come and go. Uh, so far I wish it could go away, but it's not going anywhere. It's it's just here. Uh, never goes away. Um, since this morning, no doctor. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, with uh, with that pain, um. Uh, would you uh, rate it in terms of severity with numbers? Uh, which is uh, zero is no pain, and uh, ten is uh, the worst pain you have ever had. Uh, so yeah, so initially maybe a three, uh, but now I think it's the uh, it's seven or eight, uh, and um, I think I'm a tough man. I'm not really worry about pain, but this one really, really bothering me, doctor. Uh, have you experienced it before? No, doctor. This is the first time in my life I had this kind of pain. Uh, you said that it's uh, bothering you. Uh, so what was affected your life? Uh, I, in the morning, I think I can go to work, but then... Uh, when I start moving, it seems like it hurt me more. And uh, I feel some nauseating. Uh, so I guess I should come to see the doctor. Uh, um, can you describe the pain? It is uh, uh, it's not sharp. It's just aching uh, around the belly, but seem like uh, more in the middle of the belly. Uh, um, is, sharp, uh, is it cramping? Uh, it's aching. I don't think it's cramping. Uh, yeah, sometimes I say it's maybe cramping. Uh, more, a little bit more and then goes away. A little bit more and goes away, but uh, sometimes it's just aching. Uh, um. Is it any symptoms associated with? Uh, I mean, uh, it is happens uh, at once. In one. Uh, time. yeah. Besides nauseating, uh, uh, I think I may have the fever. Uh, yeah, a little bit chill, but uh, I I did not take my temperature, so I don't know, doctor. I, um. Yesterday, uh, what did 
did you eat? Oh, but did I eat yesterday? Hmm. Uh, I went for a drink with my friends. Uh, we finished like a six pack, and I ate some food on the street, and then I go home and eat the a cheesecake, uh, and then I went to bed. Uh, but I don't think anything out of ordinary doctor. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, do you use any uh, medication or um? Do you um, do something to relieve the pain? Uh, no, doctor. Normally, I don't take any medication. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I did try to took some some Tylenol, some paracetamol, but uh, it doesn't seem like it's help. Um, uh, do you uh, do you find anything make it uh, worse? Yeah, walking doctor. Uh, yeah, when I try to tough it out and go to work, but then uh, when I walk outside the house, it seems like getting worse. So uh, yeah, I decide to stay home and go to see you. Yeah, it uh, it just in uh, the button um, belly or it uh, move around. Uh, seem like, yes, initially in the belly button, but seem like it's go to the side right now, doctor, uh, on, on this side, on, on my side, on the right side. Seem like it's go down here on the side a little bit. Uh, I don't know whether it's the same pain or a different kind of pain now start hurting me more. Okay, uh, so um, I, I'd like to uh, summarize your symptoms. Um, and I will report my doctor, and after that, we will talk again. Okay. Um, you have a uh, belly pain. Okay. Uh, so, okay, that's great. Uh, I think you do a, a good job. Um, yeah, I think that uh, I think I should let Dr. Din pick someone to do the summary for you so uh, more people can get into the, uh, the case. But uh, yeah, I think you do a pretty good job so far. And uh, again, I guess you may have some idea about what kind of pain I try to to tell you. Uh, but uh, yeah, our, 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 our role today is practice the old card. So don't worry too much about our diagnosis. Uh, but overall, you're doing good. Okay, so I let Dr. Din pick someone else to do the summary for you. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Hi, thank you, Dr. Min. And thank you, uh, you Kim Ngân, huh? Kim Ngân, that's correct, okay. You did very good job, but I let somebody else to do the summary because I really know that you know the summary already, so I don't ask you, <laughs> okay. okay? So now, um, Nam An, Trang Nam An, please uh, do the summary for, for the interview, okay, now. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you speak up a little bit? Mm. Louder, a bit louder. Uh, a bit louder if you can. I'll bring the microphone close to yeah. you. I just go to the uh, the other one. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Hello. Mm -hmm. Can you hear Good. me? Good. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Okay. So, uh, I will uh, play on in uh, Ask You Again. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. You <laughs> make the summary of what the people, that what, what Kim Ng and Dr. Min talked. Uh, okay. Uh, so, let, let me try it. Um, the patient is, is uh, a male patient and uh, he suffer from the abdominal pain yes uh, and uh, the pain is located around the pelvic button and it does not spread it just stay for one spot and uh, the pain started <coughs> yesterday and um, 
he tell that he uh, have some meals and at the street and uh, he uh, okay. and about the the, the ray the, the pen scale is right at around seven which means quite uh, above the, the average pen yes and um, uh, the pen come with without any associated symptom and it is the first time he has the pen like that and uh, yes I think I, I sum will summarize the case that like that okay thank you Trang Naman uh, anybody say that something else different? Did you catch something else different? That's why we ask you to listen carefully with the interview. Because as a medical doctor, eh, you have to catch every detailed information about the interview. Otherwise, you can't make a good uh, medical history setting. So, Trang uh, Naman, he told us a lot, mostly of the medical history correctly, but he still has some point that's not, he, he ignores something. So, could anybody say something? It's very, I can tell you. Okay, so, um, <laughs> who is, who, who, uh, who, uh, who, uh, who raised your hand? <laughs> okay. Yeah, just go. Okay, yeah. Uh, Trang Naman, go back to your seat, okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, hi, can you hear me? Yes, please. Uh, so, uh, maybe uh, I missed or forget or misunderstand what... No, 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 no. No, no your name. You introduced your name. Okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Khoi Nguyen. I am the fifth year medical student. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. Can you can go, go ahead? Go ahead. Follow me. Oh, um, about the information the patient gave to my friend, gave to my, to my friend, I heard that uh, we have to uh, summarize some uh, more extra information about. Um, uh, he he feels a little better after power moving power movement, and um, until now he has not um, uh, applied any medication or intervention to lighten the pain. Uh, maybe I I didn't hear fully. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, so how about medication? My medication? No, the patient's medication. Which medication that the patient uh, took? He um, has not took any, or not taken any, right? Okay. Can you, <laughs> Can you uh, say it again? Yeah. When uh, the, the pain happens until now, mm -hmm. did you uh, do something to make it ease, make it uh, more, uh, more comforting for you? Yeah, so uh, when I tried to go to work, uh, when I walked out, it seemed like it hurt, so it seemed like walking is uh, bothering me. And uh, I normally... Uh, don't take a lot of medications, but uh, I did try to uh, take some Tylenol or acetaminophen uh, or Panadol, uh, but doesn't seem like it's help. It doesn't seem like help. The pen it's not helpful. Yes, it's... oh, I missed it. <laughs> so you, okay. you have to take a, a painkiller and it doesn't work, right? No. It did not. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, uh, don't worry. Okay, hold the whole class. Don't worry. 
but we would like you to listen carefully okay about the interview okay now i would like to tell you one most important point that you missed up to now in the history taking who can tell who can tell me Yeah, in this history with Dr. Dr. Min, he told us one thing is very important related to the pain. That is fever. Fever. Nobody know it take a fever, okay? Any any pain, any pain in abdomen, you should ask any fever accompanied with the pain. That's very, very important, huh? So most of you miss that one, and from the beginning up to now, until Dr. Min say something about the fever, nobody asked the patient about the fever at all. That's right. I say I'm correct. Okay. So now, okay, now go ahead. Now we, uh, now now I will ask uh, Dr. Luang. We we'll play a broader patient, and we call somebody else here. Go again. Okay. Just practice. Now you remember something now? Okay, sure. Huh? Yes, and for the whole class, uh, get out in front of you a piece of paper, list the whole card, and uh, whenever your friends ask about any of the old card questions, check it, write it down. So you, when you was called to read the summary, it will be easier for you to yeah to review the note and uh, yeah so that you won't miss anything. Okay. okay, so list the old card questions, and when your friend asks anything related to the questions, write down the answer. So if you were asked to continue, you know which questions to uh, to ask, and if you 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 are asked to summary you follow the note to give a good summary. Okay, ready? Let's go. Gila. Okay, now I will ask um, a mem uh, team member of uh, Team B to play the role of the uh, doctor for a medical student. And then after that, we may take a break about five minutes, okay? Because I'm sitting too long. I'm not, not good for my health at all, okay? <laughs> okay. Now, Ben Zilman Chi. So again, uh, Dr. Long will play a role the patient and have some kind of abdominal pain. And you have to check the medical history and how you perform your Okay, now go ahead, Ben uh, 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 Dr. Din, maybe yes. chest, chest pain is okay? Uh, no, no, chest pain for next uh, session. <laughs> okay. because you can play any kind of patient. I, I trust you. <laughs> okay? Don't, don't make it very complicated for, um, for students. Okay? Just make a simple one. Because we like to practice the own car for all of you. Okay? Okay. okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Yi. I'm a fifth year student in the University of Medicine. Okay, what's the doctor say? Today I'm here with our doctor to ask me to respond. He heard about your case. Could I ask you some questions? Yes, I am ready. Yes. Uh, what's the problem? It makes you go to the hospital today. Oh, uh, this morning after I take uh, some breakfast, I feel I pain in my belly. Yes, uh, in your belly. Yes. Uh, can you respond to it? Um, upper, um, in the upper belly. Yes, in your upper belly. Uh, what is your uh, in your red spot? I just it's normal 
look like some donut and some milk. Yes. Um, this morning, your plan started. Yes. Yes, doctor. Uh, I want to know some characteristics of your plan. Could you define it? Uh, what mean for this? Can you explain more for me? Yes, uh, of course. Um, I want to ask you some characteristics about your plan. Such a sharp or sharp thing or done. Yes. I feel look like kindness, look like um not look like sharp pen, but that they bother me a lot. Yes. Um about uh, I want to know about the radiation of the pen. Is it located or is it move around? Um I think they still still in the upper upper belly and uh, not yes. go around. Yes. And um uh, when the pen comes you do some you do something to uh, release the pen. Yes, when I get the pen, I use the the the, the some a uh, hot water. I put it on, but not yes, not go around, not gone, you know. But after that, I I I feel not comfortable. I use some um some pill, but I don't know the name. But it's still there, they not gone. Okay. Yes, you don't know the uh, the name of the pill. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, so my my neighbors uh, see coming. She saw I tend to give my medication. I took it. I'm not asked the name medication. Yes. Do you know the name or the smell of the pill? I really don't know. From the from. What? You can. Uh, about the pill that you take this morning? Oh, uh, look like um, uh, they put in the water, they have look like bubble in the water after that I read. Yeah. Uh, yes. um, about the pen, are there any symptoms that associate with your pen? Yeah, after a pen, uh, I feel my, um, my uh, stomach and my um, well, um, look like so many sound moving. After that, I come in. I get, I got the diary, but not, not, re, not uh, release the pen, still pen, pen. Yes. Yeah. Uh, diary, the pen not release. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, I want to ask you about the fever. This is a fever. Yes, I feel I get fever, but um, when I come here, before you come in, some nurse take my temperature. I ask, they say, they, they tell me uh, my temperature normal, right? You did not take the temperature. Yeah. Yeah, they, did, um, they did, but the uh, normal, right? Yeah, in the normal range. Yes. Uh, that is something I want to ask you about your plan. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, doctor. Okay, thank you. You can stop here. So now, I will ask the other student to summary to summarize the what you asked Dr. Long, and then after that, we will talk about your performance at the Okay, so. Uh, Phan Thi Ngân, Phan Thi Ngân. Team C. Okay, Phan Thi Ngân. Okay, now you just make a summary about what uh, Min Thi uh, asked Dr. Luang about her abdominal pain. 
A little bit louder. Then press come back to our right from someone. It's an echo. It's an echo then. Okay. Okay. Then go ahead. Um, my name is Nong. I'm a fifth year medical student with Dr. T. Uh, I'm from Team C. So I would like to uh, raise uh, a summary house case. Um, uh, in the in the morning, she had a she had a pain in upper belly. Um, after after head breakfast, um, uh, she feel like uh tennis in her belly, but but not like that. Step band, but uh, it uh, bothers her so much. Um, see you uh, hot water and medication, but uh, it it uh, didn't uh, release her pain. Um, there are so there are and see see uh, has. Diarrhea and uh, chill uh, accompanied <coughs> with the heart pain, but the, uh, the heart temperature is normal. Uh, uh, and she takes uh, take medication, but she uh, didn't remember the, uh, the name of medication. Um, that's all. That's all. That's all. I heard about um, the case. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, Dr. Luan, please help us about that. Okay. She missed something and she misunderstood something. Eh? You just, okay. Because remember and don't note is quite different thing. Okay. Okay. She, she didn't know the name of the medication. It's not she didn't remember, okay? So when you report about the medical history, you have to use exactly, precisely about what patient talk to you, okay? Oh, now, go ahead, Ms. Uh, Dr. Dr. Wang. Um, the first... I have some um, about my uh, interview viewer. Um, he he did not asked me about scale pen. This is uh, one point. And order he follow all car very good. Um, and you know um, when the same other student, other student, I want to say uh, more polite and calmer. That means. If you want, I talk uh, or something, you say please or say thank you when you're done with the uh, interview. And other one look like Dr. Din say, um, I talk with the, my interview, I say about, I don't know medication. I just know about the kind of medication put in the water, they make the bubble, you know. That's, that's the some popular, the patient, they don't know medication, they try, they explain to you. Maybe you can guess what this medication is, All right. Um, I think this is very good for me, but we need the learning more, okay? Um, because um, I not paid attention what uh, the pancake, I think today we do OCA, every, uh, every pen, look like chest pen, head that abdominal, I not check it. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, but uh, finally, thank you. You did good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, before we have a break, I just want to uh, to have to give you an opinion about um, Minji's performance. Okay. You uh, did a good job. You uh, you follow up everything in every uh, question in the own. Cars. That's a good for you. But 
something you should not use very medical terms when you talk to the layman, to the patient. Okay, because sometimes it's they they couldn't they couldn't catch it like Doctor Long say. Yeah? You don't say that. Uh, what is the characteristic of the pain? In real life, we never we never ask that. Like that okay, you just say, "Oh, your pain. How about your pain? Your pain is very sharp or done or something." Okay, so you just give the patient some cue rather than, "Oh, what is your the, the characteristic of your pain?" Nobody nobody say that in real life. Okay, so please don't use very technical medical term when you ask the patient. For the, the other example, like, what is a radiation? No, don't say so. You just say that, oh, where is it spread to? Or where is it go? Okay, don't say that, oh, why, how about you, the radiation of the pain? Nobody understand you, okay? It's a very textbook phrase. <laughs> okay. it's, not, it's not like talking, okay? And they say that any symptoms, how come the layman can understand about symptom and syndrome? Okay, so don't use that. You have to switch medical term to a very, very common English term, or you have to rephrase to the other one. Okay, so that's, but in general, Minty, you, you did a good job, you follow and you learn your lesson, you take your homework. So I'm very happy that you can do that. But you don't, don't stop. We have to turn up to fix it a little bit. Okay. Any more questions? Anything before we take a break? So now we may have the break uh, just exactly five minutes. Okay. Now my, my clock is at 10, uh, three minutes after 10. We go, we will go back at eight minutes after 10. Okay. So now take a break and then you can talk with each other and you can review something before we go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> So, oh, any stress? <laughs> okay, just relax, okay? Um, please, make mistakes. <laughs> because mistake is the part of your learning. When you make mistake, you learn more, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, just tell you something about um, at the end of the session. Actually, I asked uh, Dr. Hong Luang to uh, to practice with you about pronunciation, but Dr. Hong Luang is not here, so maybe I uh, I will take care about that. Okay, uh, at the end we will we will reveal something about the pronunciation because the pronunciation is very important. That I I say to you, uh, my accent I have. I have very, uh, I, my English is not good. Uh, my, I still have accent, but I can make people understand me because if you speak clearly, slowly, then people can, and use the correct word, people understand you, okay? So the, uh, the pronunciation in medical terms are very important because when you speak like a medical terms and nobody understand what you say, so you you in trouble, eh? That's good. Okay. Now we back. So we hope that uh, the sound is much better, okay? <laughs> because the sound very important. And when when uh, I would like to to watch uh, the whole class, okay, let's uh, with a master camera. That that is a good one, okay? And then uh, I need to to see your face when you talk, okay? Okay, now. Um, I need some people from Team C again. Uh, Dr. T is here yet or no? Yes, okay, Dr. T, good. Um, and again, I will be your patient, okay? And everyone have to listen to. And then after that, I will pick up somebody else to make a summary. And sometimes you can have to come some comments too. Okay, Dr. Lee, Dr. Tees, are you ready? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, but where are you? Okay. <laughs> oh, just look at your camera, okay? I just see, I just saw your, oh, yes. Oh, good. Okay. Very handsome. Good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, yeah, just go ahead. Okay. So the first thing I want to go to introduce a little bit about myself. So I'm mm -hmm. Dr. A. I'm a pediatrician, and today I will have um, you 
I will talk with you. I will ask you some questions about your problem. Is it okay with you? That's fine. Okay, so I, uh, um, oh, how 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 can I do now? I should be a baby. Or I should be a child or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I think it's okay. <laughs> okay, so I will be a child of eight years old. Okay, okay. Years. and then you yeah. just go. Okay, so it's I good enough to uh, to to answer your question. Okay, rather than <laughs> but, their yeah. parents. Okay, good. Go go ahead. But but I think it's a little bit difficult for me to to, to imagine that you eight years old. Oh, maybe yeah, okay. I should put some mask or something there. Huh? <laughs> okay, so God. Um, yeah. Hello, so can I ask you uh, some questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the problem with you, child? What's the problem with you? Oh, so you ask the parents or you ask the child? Um, usually, I think in our hospital, we usually ask the, the, the mother first, and then if we need to check something, we can ask the uh, child. Yeah. Okay, so I will be um, his or her father, okay? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, father and father. Okay, I'm 18 years old, and I have the boys up 8 years old. Okay, good, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, so I, can I ask you about what is the problem with your child? I think there's something, something wrong with him. Okay, so that's why I bring him to the, his hospital. So, so can you tell me more about this? Like, what is the problem? Like, the problem with his breathing or the problem with his uh, abdomen? He had any pain or he coughing? Mm -hmm. Oh, just since uh, uh, last night. Yeah. He couldn't sleep. He just keep crying. And this morning, he didn't eat anything and just keep crying, crying, crying. So I very worry about him. Uh, does he have, does he have any pain? I asked him, and he he he, he said at something. He just hold his belly and just keep crying. Yeah. So do you, did he eat, did he eat anything wrong before? I don't think so. I, I, uh, we have very usual, you know, meals are like three meals a day, and I don't. Uh, he doesn't have any special food, any candies, anything to eat outside on the street or something. So I don't think so. He just keep crying and hold, hold, hold his belly. Oh, do does he have fever now? Do you, uh, I touch fever? him. I touch him. And I feel a little bit something there, but sorry, we don't have the thermometer at home, so I, 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 I can't say uh, about the temperature. But I say that he has some kind of light fever. Did you give him any medication that helped him to feel better? I, yeah, I give I gave him some Tylenol, but he 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 just. He just don't want to take it, so I'm not sure. So that's why I bring here him to uh, hospital to see that uh, uh, how can you help him. So beside that, do you have any like associated sign or about uh, him? Any associated sign symptom that you can can you tell me more? He just uh, stopped I, laying. He just stopped laying. He just stopped eating, and. Uh, he, yeah, uh, he, he didn't go to school this morning, okay? And I, th I think that he, uh, he have, hasn't had any bowel woman since then. He, he hasn't had, um, that he can pass school from Sorry? yesterday. He can pass school, you know, you understand? Like, he can help pass for school, you, you understand? He, he goes to the yeah, uh, I think that uh, usually that he has a one bow one bow moment a day. Yeah? But since yeah. today, I, I I I I didn't see anything, and I touched his belly a little bit hard, and he he didn't want me to touch it. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, after asking you some question about him, I think I better to check him 
or and to, to have some physical examination because it's much better for me to check like something for about the temperature and something about the abdominal abdominal pain if he has and some or other vital signs about him. Okay, let me look at him. Okay, I will check him. Okay, that's, okay, okay, that's the end of the interview. Now, <laughs> uh, I asked somebody else to fill out what Dr. T missed here. Okay, okay, sure, pretty sure. Okay, but this is a process of learning. Um, I will ask uh, the team member of your the team member of your team, Mong Tuyen. Okay, hi, Mong Tuyen. Okay, just tell me what Dr. T missed in this old card. Hello, Dr. Jin. Hi. Um, in this case, uh, Dr. T um, um, do uh, very well. Um, his um, voice is very clearly and um, um, he, um, however, um, he uh, missed uh, something in uh, the um, Okay. Um, he uh, he did he didn't uh, ask um, the mother about uh, the duration um, and um, the um, characteristic um, of uh, the pen. Mm -hmm. And um, the radiation. Yes. Okay. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Tuyen. Anybody else uh, have some idea about that? Okay, this one is a very basic thing. You know, I know Dr. T, he. He's a very good doctor because he know right away what concentrate on, okay? But because that kind of practice make you, you miss some of the, um, of the, 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 the factors in uh, questioning, okay? Because it, you have to use, this class, we use the old car. Sometimes, you know, some doctor, when, when the patient show up on the door and they know right away what is the problem. Eh? But as a medical doctor and as a student, you have to ask all and complete own cards, okay? You cannot miss or you cannot jump, okay, right away. Some people like a Da Nang um, class, they just ask about few, about two or five questions and they go ahead with diagnosis and test or something, eh? it's not good at all. You have to go to basic one, okay? So as uh, Duyeng said, it's a radiation. It's very important. Eh? You cannot rate the pain because it's from the child, but you can ask something to, to know the severity of the pain or not, okay? Something. So Dr. T said, it's good because he, I think that he has work already. Eh? So he jumped right away to a physical examination. But you, not, don't do that. Don't follow Dr. T about that, okay? You have to, to, to go the whole thing for your um, medical uh, history taking, okay? Anything else? So can I have an idea? Oh, sure, yeah, just go ahead. Okay, go ahead, okay. You mentioned your child with ATL or IMAR. You, you mentioned eight eight years. Years. So okay. I'm, I'm 18 uh, years old and sh he's eight years old. Okay. Yeah, he, eight years old, that means he can speak and sometimes I can ask the patient, but in, you know, uh, for usually the patient under two years old, sometimes he cannot know what is the radiation, what is the pain, he just cry and cry and even though the mother cannot know exactly what is the, the location of the pain. 
You understand? Like for this commentary, it's difficult for us to, to ask about the, the, the radiation or what kind of the pain. So we can try to choose more and to realize what kind of pain is just right. He's eight years old. He's not eight months old. Okay. So you should ask the spreading, okay? Okay. And then um, Dr. C is a very honest um, command for you. Uh, you should, you shouldn't, you shouldn't use, do you understand? Because that one is very, I can say, unpolite to people, okay? You can, you can tell your students. You can tell um, your child, your children, eh? but you can't tell the patient that, do you understand? No, no. It's not a very good communication at all, okay? So you should realize about that, yeah? And, and, and aware about that. Stop using, do you understand? When you talk to people, okay? It's very impolite and it's very offensive. You can say that, that I, uh, you can say that, I think that, um, Something okay, it's not, it's not go like that, okay? Yeah, Dr. Luan, any question, any, any uh, comment? Um, yes, this is a very good case for you practice because we deal with the child, not in the adult patient. Um, you know, in the US, if the patient less than 18 years old, they need the parent or some people take care of the patient come in the room. On Mars, the patient 10 year old, 15 year old, they, still, they can answer your question, but you, they still need the parent in the room. You can ask both, look like Dr. Dean, he 18 year old, his child 8 year old. You can ask both, we can we answer your question. Look like we find out some okra, you not complete it, and other some the sentence not uh, not look like uh, polite or not clear. You need to, to talk slow and focus in the question. Look like you you ask the the, the, the parent. You say if you know something, let me know, please. I on way tell you we need the uh, you you the please that means look like Vietnamese we say làm ơn nói dùm look like this but you know this met you more sorry <coughs> met you more um, good relationship with the patient with you I I have just uh, just this idea only I hope. The next uh, interview, you you blow down your voice and make the clear every sentence with the patient. This is missing. Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Nguyen. Yeah, I, I know uh, I know Dr. C a little bit pretty well. He even in Vietnamese he speaks fast. Okay, and and in English. You speak fast is not good at all because uh, people may be misunderstood you. So just slow down, okay? Because that is a skill, okay? So just just make sure about that, okay? I think it's very hard for you because it just your habit to speak fast, but you will mispronounce something, okay? Ah, okay. So try to do this class. I hope at the end of the class, Dr. T will speak slower and clearer, okay. <laughs> now, um, we go to, um, another team C, Thu Thao. Okay, go ahead. And now, uh, Dr. Min or Dr. Luang, who will be uh, the victim of um, uh, Thu Thao. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's okay. Uh, let me do it. Uh, so pretend I am a, 
45 years old lady um, <laughs> and I come to see you because I have pain in my belly so uh, Thu Thảo uh, go ahead Can I hear you? Hi, Thu Thảo. Speak something. <coughs> Hello. Thu Thảo, you very slow. Okay. If like that, it's not good for <laughs> for professional at all, man. Quick, quick, fast, fast, okay? Yeah. Uh, Again. Very far away. Hello? Thu Thảo, Thu Thảo, please make my contact. Don't watch other people. You just watch directly to the camera, okay? Okay, now, go ahead. Very, very difficult. Uh, can you bring the microphone uh, closer on sp or speak up louder, please? Still a bit difficult. Uh, yeah, can you speak up a little bit or get the microphone close to you? Hello. Hello. Okay, I can. Yeah, go ahead, try. Yeah. Sorry, cannot hear you. Uh, uh, Some, somebody can give to Tao your cell phone or something like that because that 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 okay. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Where are you? Okay. okay. Now, Thu Thảo is in um, Trúc Võ, so camera, camera. Can you hear okay. me? You are okay. sure. Uh, but then there's the echo there. No. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Thu Thảo. Uh, I'm a 45 years old lady, and I come for pain in my belly. Yeah. Um, what problem bring you to me today? Mm, I have pain in my belly, doctor. Can you help me? Uh, mm. Oh. Sorry. Uh, where is it? It's in the upper part of my belly, uh, kind of on the right side. When is it start? Yeah, it started this morning. When I after my I have by my breakfast. Oops, someone go for this one. How long this it last? Um, it started this morning and it's still bothering me. Okay, now I ask some everybody except um, two thousand. Turn off your microphone. 
so it's not an echo because it's a lot of people in the room and yeah just turn off all of your microphone okay okay i just tell yeah. you you can see at the bottom of the screen of zoom screen you have the icon of microphone you just click on that and turn it off no uh and then i can i don't really have the right to turn the microphone off for everybody and I'm not sure the speakers in the group for our room may have problem also. No, that's it. Anh Trần và Tuấn Trần. Turn off your microphone. You don't, you don't know how to turn it off? I couldn't turn it off. It's a echo. Now try to Thảo uh, again. Say something to see any any echo. Not good. It's a technical problem. Uh -huh. Now, let me try. Uh, Tuấn Trần, say something to see that uh, your voice is okay now. Tuấn Trần, just say, say something. Yeah, he just knew his microphone. Yeah, turn it on. Tuấn Trần, yeah, say something. Hello? Yes, yes. I'm, here. I'm here. Okay. That's good. Oh, come on. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, you can hear me, right? No, it's okay. Yeah, it's the food and wing drum. Yeah, the master cam. Okay, I turn. Yeah, okay. Now, try again, Tung Trần. Try again. Hello. Still. Yeah. Yeah, I think the microphone and the speaker, Tung Trần, is not so good. Uh, so, Tung Trần should be off his microphone when he's not talking. And mm. yeah, maybe took for turn on the microphone on her side and see is working on that. Okay, Tu Tao, Tu Tao. Hello, Tu Tao. Just turn on the microphone again to check to see. Turn on. Oh, Tung Trần, off your microphone. Off your microphone, Tung Trần. No, took for off microphone is not good either. Yeah, they have the speaker Hello, inside the same room. Hello, Dr. Man. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you, but it's a lot of echo. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure now. <laughs> yeah, maybe everyone just use their cell phone and uh, use the headset, maybe that the on the option for now, I think. Yeah, because the speaker, the sound from the speaker will get into the microphone and cause the echo, so... Don't mm -hmm. use the loudspeaker, then just use the headset of the, of the phone. The reason why they, they don't have the headset, <laughs> that's, that's a problem. Oh, okay. Oh, everybody go to a different corner and <laughs> use the, the, the headset. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe get the phone and whoever uh, do the interview go to a separate corner uh, separate room and, and, and do it maybe hello 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 okay it's work now uh, no no still still not okay. very it's a little bit better than earlier uh, Dr. Try Fu, again. try again, Dr. Fu. Uh, good morning. Okay, yeah, so from this, uh, from Dr. Fu, it seems like it's worked well, but uh, from other groups, uh, it's not. 
yeah yeah from your side of the food it it works uh, okay now yeah okay two thao so try to uh, speak something to check to see the sound is okay now I think the next time Dr. Fu will be have to check the sounds again because like that, it slowed down a lot of our, uh, our time. Eh? Yeah, very soft. Can you speak up a little bit? Hello. Yes. Uh, hi, doctor. Please help me. Hello, doctor. Doctor, can you hear me? Uh, it's still very difficult to hear you. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, it's very difficult. Um, you may try to speak up a little bit and speak louder. Hello? Who's speaking? Hello. I'm speaking from Tao Precision. Okay, yeah, I can hear you clearly. Uh, so I guess Tao just need to speak up a little bit. Okay. Uh, what what problem bring you today? Uh, I have pain in my belly. Uh, the upper part of my belly. When it started? Uh, when it started? It started this morning uh, when I eat my uh, when I ate my breakfast. Yes. Your breakfast have different. Uh, a usual day? Uh, just usual, doctor. Uh, just some milk, some eggs, some bread, uh, nothing special. Okay. After meal, you feel pain or, or how long you feel pain after that? Uh, I'm not even finished my breakfast yet and it starts hurting me already. Uh, where, is, where is it? Uh, the, up, the upper part of my belly uh, on the cap on the right side. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, it comes with another symptom. Symptom? What do you mean, doctor? Uh, a, drop, a different problem like a uh, um, vomiting, nausea. Uh, uh, a bit nauseating, but uh, I did not vomit, doctor. Um, do you have uh, any medication for your pain? Uh, for the pain, uh, I took some Tylenol. Uh, it's not really help. Maybe, but not not really. Who check it for you, a doctor or a another person? Uh, sorry, I are cannot you, hear you. Can you say that again? Are you going hospital after that? After now, before. Uh, I I came here straight away. Uh, 
after had the pain because it's quite severe. Your pain is in your activity. Uh, yeah, if when I I think when I lying down, uh, seem like it's getting better, doctor. Okay, so now you can now tell your your pain in your zero to ten. Zero is mean no pain and. Can be very very painful. How strange you are. Uh, quite painful, doctor. Maybe eight or nine, if not almost ten. So, uh, thank you for your information, sir. I can push your answer. Radio. Uh, sorry, what you say, doctor? Mm. Sorry, the broadcast muffin. Uh, I cannot hear you very well. Uh, can you say that again? I say that I ask you enough, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, let's start here. And uh, yeah, I know this is your first time, maybe uh, ever speaking to us in front of the camera. Uh, how you feel about your your asking questions so far? How you feel? on the scale of zero to 10. Zero is not preparing at all, and 10 is perfect. How you think you are doing right now, just now? Mm, okay, so how what do you think you can do to make it seven or eight? What do you think you should prefer to make it better? I think it's just resting. Mm -hmm. I learned from another person. From, I learned from my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good plan. Uh, write out the questions. Uh, the old car question is standard. So write them out and keep practicing them uh, by yourself or with your friends. It's, it's, it's okay. Just go through. And until you can say those own, own those questions without even look at the list, then, yeah, it would be much easier for you. Don't think, don't, don't, don't uh, try not to think about the question anymore so that you can focus on the patients. Yeah. If you keep thinking about how to ask the questions, it's very distracting and you, you, you not focus on the patients and uh, yeah, the patient can see that. Uh, so yeah, write out the question, practice it by yourself in front of the mirror when you take a shower, anywhere and uh, then find someone to practice it with you okay 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 before we go ahead uh, again um let me introduce with you uh dr fu he come from australia and it's a one of our clinical instructor for next time next week so and fu could you turn on <laughs> your microphone or your face to show your face to everybody. Okay, we go back again. Okay, now I um, I would like to tell 2000 something. Yeah? I 
was the person who made the interview with you? Okay. And so um, I know that you have some um, physical difficulty how to pronounce the word. And I, I, I very appreciate about your hard work about that. But today, uh, you look looks like that you not prepare well the question. And number one, don't turn your head to watch anybody else. Just watch directly to the camera and talk, okay? Number two, when you should introduce yourself, everything's in the clip, everything's in the everything that is instruction ready. So don't jump right away. Ask the patient question without introduce yourself. What's your name? What is your function? Why the reason why you want to do that, okay? So looks like today you not um, repair very well. Um, I honestly that am not very happy about that. So I hope next time, you should repair well, okay? You can speak not clear, it's okay, it's acceptable. You can, your pronunciation needs some kind of limitation, that's okay. But you should prepare your question, okay? That's, I really like you next time, you overcome with that, okay? Thank you, Tuta. Keep practicing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we still have some people uh, uh, when waiting for uh, Dr. Fu uh, show up on the screen. Uh, we will pick some people else. Okay. Nguyen Thái Châu. Okay. I ask uh, Dr. Luang. Uh, ask your patient, and uh, we go ahead with the uh, the practice again. Okay. I am ready. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Luang. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Yao. I'm recording you in the Kakao University Medicine Faculty. Uh, today, I see you. Oh, sorry, a little bit uh, a little bit uh, it's an echo there. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dr. Law, can, can you hear the uh, I can hear. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. My name is Xiao. I'm the fourth year student with the University Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, could I ask you some questions? Yes, I'm ready. Can you tell me about your problem, please? Mm, I feel last night I get the pain in the lower my abdominal. Can you tell me about is the pen in one spot or not? Um, I don't know. But when last night when I sleep, before I come and sleep, I everything okay. But midnight I wake up, I feel so painful in the right side, lower my abdominal. Have you had any similar pain before? Um, I'm sorry. What you can ask me, please? Have you had any similar pain before? Uh, my pain? Yeah, I feel so painful this side. And... Um, 
when I take the pain medication, I think the same no release my pain. Uh, if you try, no, and other one, I feel so hot in my body too. Okay. If you raise your pen from zero to ten, with zero is no pen, and ten is very pen. How much is it? Oh, um, when I wake up, I feel so faint for look like number ten. But later on, later on, now I feel look like number eight, but still not gone. I am so much worried. I come in the your office right now. That means the pain is continuous. Yeah. I feel the same. But the level I feel a little bit low but not gone. Still number A right now. Um, can you tell me exactly the temperature? Um, I feel so hot in my body but I not take the temperature yet. Okay. Uh, have you had any surgical operation? What you want to know? Have you had any surgical other appendix before? No. Just this is the first time for me. I don't have any problem in my abdominal before. Okay. Before last night. Uh, have you had the pain in uh, different? No. no, before I go sleep, I am good, I am eating good. But when I wake up, I feel painful and I feel very hot. Have you eat any cleansing last night? Um, what do you, you want to know the doctor? Did you eat any strengthening last night? No. Um, I just take dinner the same every day. Uh, no different. Okay. Does the band come with anything with a fever? Um, yes, I feel fever. And when I use my hand, I touch in this side, I feel more pain. Uh, did you do something to relax this pain? What, uh, the doctor? Any position to relax the The release? No, I don't feel a uh, release my pain. I feel, look like I lie down, still fan. I sit up, still fan. I walk in, still fan for the same. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Dr. Luan. Uh, I talked with the, the interview, the doctor. How you feel, you, um, what you do? I think that Athletics, when you set your heart in your right hand. But I feel so confused about temperature. Yeah, um, because I try to talk with you about a pen in the right side, lower the abdominal and fever. I think about this uh, side. Um, let some the doctor or some medical student they sensitive they think right away about uh, appendix you know but you know I try I tell you but you not forget ask me more about it I am okay but you follow okay I think this is good for about pain but you know when I told you I get fever you you need to ask me more about this, okay? But um, I feel this good uh, for me. I have order. I asked Dr. Bin or Dr. Mindo or Dr. Fu. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. It, it looks like that um, the patient helped uh, the doctor more than the doctor asked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now um, uh, Thái Châu, um, you did a good job that you asked all the questions from the old part. Yes. But, but anyway, always but there. Huh? You not concentrate on the main problem with the patient because you just ask by asking, and you don't think. What's the view? Like you driving in the city, and you keep driving everywhere, and you don't have the target. You don't know, you don't know where to go. Okay, that's that's a main thing. So that's why Doctor Long helped you a lot, and she gives you. But you couldn't you couldn't catch it. Okay, <laughs> next slide, please. Okay, please, uh, please. Uh, you still ask the question. But have to have to think about what's the problem the patient is and you concentrate on that one. Okay. Dr. Long just say a lot of the fever, a lot of location and you you seem like you doesn't have a cue. So what, what's going on with the patient? Okay. Uh, okay, uh, before I say something, okay, I just say to everybody welcome to uh, Dr. Fu. He is one of our um, teacher, and he will talk. Uh, he will talk to you, uh, teach you the next time. So, Doctor Fu, say something to the to the students. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Very clear. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just I supposed not to be on, but I just you know see get some overview. See how the student levels. And just hello everyone. Um, I just heard only one student talk. Uh, it's very promising. Um, and I think probably, you know, I need to see a um, few more before I can see how the class level is. And um, I think it's just congratulations you have gathered together and um, in very good setting, quiet setting, and good, you know, sound. I still can hear some echo sound. Not sure from my my phone or just from the setting in in your university. From the room, um, <laughs> not yeah, from your, I, from not your phone. <laughs> I, my phone. Sorry, I I don't have money to buy the new phone. So I think that uh, people have to, you know, donate money for me to buy the new phone. Then, the next week I I will, you know. I will change to the phone, change the new phone. But I think it's probably good to congratulations to all. Um, just keep listening and, and keep doing what you're doing at the moment. I'm sorry to disrupting you guys a bit, but uh, keep doing. And on my next, you know, topic, I think Dr. Anbang Bang had, you know, posted on the website. I like the student before you go in the class, you have to be ready. Um, you need to put a lot of effort into it. Um, I might be diff difficult. I'm not. I might be not as nice as Dr. Lanvo. So I be. I, I want to make sure you get most of you know your you know from us. So you need to prepare the class, the the the, the topic well. As I has mentioned, taking medical history a backbone of your career, you need to practice and practice until. You don't even think about it. You just come straight from your brain and you talk to us. So I'm um, I leave you unbung. What you have to post in you know my assignment, if you have time to do it, and we'll assess your assignment uh, on the on the on the website, and we'll give you some feedback. So I leave and give it back to Dr. Bang and Ji Luang. I'm sorry, I have you know I have disrupt your class. Keep going. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fu. Okay. Uh, all, all the class, you know, uh, Dr. Fu, he's very famous at Ong Ya Cotton. Okay, so be prepared very well for next time, okay? Your homework should be, should be doing well, okay? Now, uh, I asked one other members of um, 
hợp team A Trúc Phương Phương Trúc Go ahead Ok, please check your sound for us, ok Check your sound Just say something Hello, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, very well, ok I will be your victim, ok, I'm very be patient I have abdominal no pain and now let uh, make an introduction by yourself and then carry out of the uh, uh, history taking. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Trup. I'm a fifth year student. So today I'm here because uh, Dr. Fu asked me to report him about your cousin. Hi, your hi. Yeah. What's your name, please? My name is Din. So, what's your problem today? Oh, I. What is my problem? <laughs> yes. I have the pain in your in my belly. Uh, well, when does your pain start? About three days ago, and it's keep going. Three days ago. From uh, the day before yesterday, and still I still have the pain. Yeah. And uh, when uh, you have the pain, what are you doing at that time? Uh, I just after eating, and then I have the terrible pain, and then I I take a rest, and it's a it's a little bit relief, it's a bit going down, and then it's just go back. Like once in a while. Uh, is the pain in one spot or is it all over? Okay, so do you know where is my spot, the pain of the spot? Yes. What spot that I have the pain? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I mean, uh, is your pain uh, local or is it? Uh, Spread to another region. Spread to, spread. Uh, so where does it spread? Where is your pain first? spread? Okay, I have to stop here, you bit, Okay, to remember, you have to ask the location before you ask the spread to the pain. From the beginning to now, you never ask me where is the pain is. That's correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So, where's the pain? Okay, I have the pain just, you know, in the, my upper belly uh, on the right side. And uh, now, does it spread to any region? That's correct question. Okay, I spread to the my shoulder. Uh, can you describe your pain? It's just squeezing there, okay? Sometimes it's relaxed, but sometimes it's like a spasm there. Uh, do you uh, take any medicine to release your pain? Oh, I take a lot of Tylenols, but it's not, it, it doesn't work at all. Uh, do you come? To, uh, do you go to a doctor? That's why I see you now. Uh, no, I mean that uh, before me. Do you uh, go to another clinic? No, no. I just want to see you. Yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, when I. Uh, uh, after you eating, you feel your pain. Uh, is, uh, does it? Uh, no, I don't like to eat at all. Okay, because every time I eat, it's just more painful. And uh, before your meal, does it better? Yeah, if I don't eat anything, I feel better. Uh, 
and uh, is there any symptom associated with your pain? Uh, I have a little bit fever. Uh, do you take a thermometer? No, oh, I don't have money to buy a thermometer, so I'm not sure how much is, uh, my temperature is now. Okay, good. Okay, any more questions? Just give you a last question, okay. Okay, now that's it. Now, I would like to ask you to make the summary of the interview that you already done. Okay. You lost your pain uh, three days ago, and uh, after your, your meal, and uh, uh, this is your uh, uh, your pain is on the uh, upper right side, and uh, the the pain line uh, feel like squeezing, and uh, after you eat, uh, the pain uh, get uh, worse, and better. Uh, However, before your meal, uh, it is better. And, uh, you have take a lot of uh, medication, but it uh, didn't work. And uh, so, and so you come to uh, see uh, me. And uh, beside uh, your pain, you have a uh, fever too, but you don't have exact uh, temperature. Good. That's good. Okay, just about grammar, huh? The medication doesn't work. It's still now, still, uh, or hasn't working, okay? It's not, didn't work. If you say that the medication didn't work, it said that before, but now stop, okay? You understand the, the, the tense you use? Okay. Now, uh, thank you very much. Uh, you did a good job. Uh, you almost followed the old part. Okay, and you make a, a good summary. You have a good uh, memory there too. Okay, I would like to ask um, um, the team leader of Team B, Dr. Van. You, how do you think about the performance of your team member? You think that something missed there? Something you had to add in? and what kind of um, information that you need more. Mm -hmm. Our first one, you should summary, so you should summarize about the, the medical history. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, I, have, I have, um, <coughs> you are, young man is failing. <coughs> Hello. It is right side, and um, you uh, you start you start pain yesterday and still it now. And um, you uh, after it break, uh, you uh, start pain. Uh, young pain is uh, squeezing. You don't working uh, when he, uh, when uh, when you uh, when you spend. Um, when you eat uh, the food, uh, your uh, young hand is uh, worse. And um, uh, you feel hot, but uh, you check the uh, temperature. That's all. <laughs> okay, that's all. Now, uh, my pain is not yesterday, beginning yesterday, three days ago. Yes. Okay. Number two, what's missing information here when you take the old card framework? Mm. What else you miss there? Mm. Like I said before, when you talk about uh, abdominal pain, you should ask about the fever. So everybody remember that, the fever. But beside us, Anything else that we miss the information here? Mm. What it makes 
Yes. Good. Okay. And um, have you any uh, disease or treatment? Uh... Already, I I I I took a lot of Tylenol. Mm. Uh, can you describe your pain? Yeah, somewhat. Okay. Yeah, but I say there's spasm there already. So one missing here, okay? Because anybody at uh, in this room know any missing information is very important in this, in this case. <coughs> the bowel movement. Yes, thank you. Okay, yeah. So anything else? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Ngân, Kim Ngân, do you have anything, any ideas? Okay, just go. Uh, she, maybe she missed uh, the pain scale uh, and uh, the duration. Yes, good. That's good. Very good. That's it. I give you the um, 10 marks there. Okay, okay. Good. And I just repeat again. With any, any abdominal pain, you have to ask about the bowel movement. It's very related because mostly it is, it's a GI tract or the liver or the kidneys or something there. So always beside fever, you have to ask about the bowel movement. Okay. Even that in the old card, they don't say that, black, but it's in associated symptoms. Eh? Okay, that's good. Thank you. Hi, Dr. Luang, have any, uh, Dr. Min, you have any, um, any feedback, any opinions? Anything? Hello? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, um, I think I think uh, this is the first time. So um, yeah, I, I just take note about uh, the class uh, preparation. So um, hopefully we can improve on uh, next uh, during next classes. Mm -hmm. So um, I just uh, I didn't pay too much attention to the uh, interview, the last interview. So sorry, I, I did not. Uh, I'm not going to comment on, on that, but uh, I just uh, look at different camera and seem like the engagement uh, is not not that good. I'm not sure that you follow the all of you follow the this uh, the, the the interview the the conversations uh, uh, how um, how well you want to participate. I mean the whole class. How you uh, how you think you're gonna participate in the activity so that all of you can have a good chance to to learn. Um, yeah, maybe we have to change the format a bit more. Competition between team or, or some kind of team activity, teamwork rather than one people take turn. Um, yeah, I, I'm thinking to to see which is the better way. Otherwise whoever present first and then your job's done. You just sit and watch and, and not really engage in the conversation. So um, yeah, we may need to review on that. And regarding the setting, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. We may need to have a, a separate section to test the camera and test the microphone and speaker uh, because it like it's uh, really, really take a lot of time to reset and readjust. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it costs you a lot of time and then, uh, yeah, okay. I may suggest, yeah, so sorry, I may suggest uh, if you all have like smartphone, um, bring it with you, uh, get the headset ready. We may try to, yeah, get your own lock into Wi-Fi and then uh, use it separately. Maybe that uh, help with the echo unless we have a better speaker and better microphone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
again, I agree with Dr. Min that, um, okay, you have the master, ca uh, master camera like that is good. So we can watch the whole uh, class activities. And otherwise, uh, yeah, just maybe bring the second camera, maybe from cell phone with the headphone. So everybody, when you talk to us, make sure that the sound is good so we can hear you. So basically, we just need two cameras here. One a master camera that you can, we can see the whole class. Uh, we don't need the sound there because it's, it's the sound is not good anyway. And the second camera from the cell phone with the headphone so we can hear you and you, you can watch your the face. Really? Okay, just like that. Okay, and the sound is better too. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I suggest Dr. Fu next time uh, we 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 fix that problem. Eh? Okay, now my uh, list. I still have two or three more to go before we go to the um, comment session and and the feedback as at the end of the session. Uh, thing of an. Uh, again, maybe I ask uh, Dr. Min, uh, just uh, be the patient of uh, Dinh Thị Ngọc Anh. Hi, where are you, my doctor? Uh, hello, good evening, Mr. Min. Nice to meet you. Hi, okay. Uh, I'm the... Sorry, uh, I'm a 43 years old uh, businessman. So um, I come to see you because I have pain in my belly. Uh, okay, so first I want to introduce myself to you. Uh, my name is I'm, I'm a, a fifth year medical student. I was at school today, so Dr. Ho will report me about your problem. So we're going to start right now, okay? Um, okay. And uh, before, before we start, I, I um, want to ask something uh, in the school. So uh, that will help me to remember. Um, if I miss that, we'll ask you later. Yeah. So let's start. Okay. Uh, so what is your problem today? Uh, I have pain in my belly. Um, it's up here, right here in the middle. In the middle, but upper or lower? Uh, upper part, right here. Right here. Um, yes, actually, I can see the uh, Sorry, I, didn't, okay, uh, I don't know if this echo somewhere that I make it difficult for me to hear. Uh, okay, yeah, so can oh, you yeah. try it again? Yeah, can you say it again? Uh, okay. So, actually, I cannot see uh, your um, presentation. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, show me mm -hmm. Yeah, so the upper part of my uh, belly, right in the middle. Okay, upper part in the middle. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when did your pain start? Uh, actually, doctor, it's, uh, it's been on and off for a long time, and uh, this time it's starting for the last couple of days, and it's still not getting worse. Okay, so, um, but, so you mean that you already have the pain before, and it's just on and off, and um, a couple of days before, it's getting worse, right? Yeah, yes, that's right. Okay. Okay, so uh, um, how long does your pain last? I mean, in duration, how long does it last? Uh, sometimes it lasts for a couple of uh, days, sometimes uh, a week or two. A week? Yeah. A week or two. Um, so, um, 
Uh, what is your favorite food? Is it a uh, star, a dog, or just a uh, burning you can describe to me? Ah, uh, it's dog, but sometimes it's quite severe, and sometimes it's like it's go to the back of my back. Okay. Uh, so is there anything that helps you to get better when you need to drop home? Uh, seems like if I eat something, it's, it's better, doctor. And uh, I chew some thumbs uh, and seems like it's help. Is that uh, stomach pain, doctor? I never see any doctor for that, so I'm not sure. Uh, so, so like, uh, there's not, nothing helps you to do uh, I'm not sure I understand you well, but uh, I say when I eat something, drink some milk. Uh, drink some like milk. Help. Okay, when you eat something, something or drink some milk, it will help you get better, right? Yeah, seems like it's better. Uh -huh. That's why I'm gaining weight. Um, so, uh, um, is there anything that you are getting more? Uh, when I go out drinking or uh, when I eat something spicy, seems like, uh, yeah, seems like it's, it's make it worse. Okay. Okay, so, um, does your plan come with um, any other um, condition like fever or um, yeah, like fever or um, yeah. uh, no fever, no fever, but uh, yeah, sometimes when the pain is severe, it's kind of feel a bit uh, nauseated or uh, I lost my appetite when the pain is too severe. Okay, so uh, when you go to there, you feel uh, like nausea, but do you vomit? Um, no, no, never doctor. Okay. Um, so, um, then your pain is in the um, middle part, middle upper uh, abdominal part, right? Uh, but uh, does it break to anywhere? Uh, not really. Sometimes it's really feel like it's go through my body to my back uh, when it's severe, but uh, it's not goes anywhere. Uh, like this time, it's just stay there. It's not going anywhere. This time, it's just in one place. Um, do you have any tips? Um, like yeah, uh, I never seen a doctor before. I went to the pharmacy and they gave me some uh, antacid, some uh, medicine for stomach. Seems like getting better, but uh, I don't know. Is it stomach pain? Stomach ulcer? Uh, okay, so um, I think that is. Um it sounds like on the um, and um, but I want to ask you about your favorite uh, uh, medical history. Uh, do you have any history of uh, stomachs? Mm, I'm not sure. I think I have, but uh, you see, you say me or my family. Okay, you and your family. Uh, I never see doctors. So I'm not sure. I think I have stomach ache. Uh, I think uh, my family, my my father. Uh, I haven't haven't seen him for a long time, so I'm not sure. My mom, she never say about her illness, so I'm not sure either. So um, yeah, so I don't know, doctor. They may or they may not. I don't know. And so, uh, um, uh, you can tell me about your um, favorite food. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's, it's spicy or 
My favorite food. Ah, uh, hmm. I like a lot of food. Ah, uh, I like. Ah, uh, what? The. Sorry, uh, your my pen. No, your taste of food. Uh, did you like spicy food or salty food? Yeah, salty food like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I love spicy food, but uh, seem like it hurt me uh, sometimes when I eat spicy food. Okay. But I still like spicy food. Yeah. So, uh, so okay. Um, I'm done asking you a question, so I will summarize about our um, conversation. And is there any questions that you can correct me and ask? Remember something else you can talk to me, okay? So, uh, you said that um, you usually um, have. Um, Okay. Um, middle, uh, middle upper abdomen, uh, which happens for um, a lot of time. Uh, uh, sometimes it's a couple of days, sometimes it's a week or two, right? And um, it, um, it, uh, it happens to you uh, drink um, something uh, uh, like high like alcohol and eating spicy food. Um, it, it feel like doom, but, uh, doom, but right now it's uh, more severe um, and it's spread from your middle uh, abdomen to your back. Um, so um, you have to to release with your pain. Um, and you are uh, and you drink milk and eat also if you have to reduce it. Um, okay, and, um, and if you try to do it, it will work. Um, so, uh, and your family history doesn't have to like this. And you have never, um, you have never been diagnosed from um, uh, before. So, um, so, okay, and um, that's all my, um, Think that I uh, heard about your um, condition. So, if you can help me, you can help me. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you didn't ask me how many cigarettes I smoke. I, mean, I smoke like two packs a day, maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, yeah, but uh, I think you you go through the old cards, uh, get uh, most of the questions. Um, overall, I think it's, it's good. Um, I think you have some idea about uh, what the condition the patient may have. So you ask question related to that, uh, yeah. Because Doctor Fu here, so uh, if he asks question, he may ask some more challenging uh, <laughs> question or give you more challenging answer. Uh, yeah, just uh, it's not the goal of our uh, class today. Uh, mainly asking about the old card, but. Uh, but uh, at your level, I do think uh, fifth year student, right? Fifth or sixth. Uh, maybe think about some, yeah, maybe think about some uh, differential while you ask question so that you can ask about something maybe related to that also. Like uh, if you think about uh, bone bladders, if you think about pancreas, it's also in the same area. Yeah, uh, talk about, uh, ask about that. And sometimes the stomach, egg also uh, similar to uh, heart attack also. So yeah, ask about the risk factor. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, yeah, because you're doing good, so let's put it to another level. But uh, yeah, uh, for now, stick with the old card to make sure don't miss the question. And Okay, so um, you carry on the interviews uh, completed. Okay, congratulations. But anyway, I, I refer that you make it shorter. 
because I just concentrate on the very main point and so pertinent to the problems of the patient rather than go around. You can go around if you have time, but if like interview like that, I, I have to pay you more because it, you take me more time to, 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 to do that. Eh? But the best way that I recognize from you, I, I, I realize that, that you uh, have the habit to rephrase the patient's work. So that's a good thing, okay? Sometimes you have to confirm what the patient say, eh? but don't use it a lot, okay? It's a very important information. Are you not sure about that? You, you rephrase it and you make a confirmation about that. That's good. That's a good point. But don't overuse that. That's a bit. Okay, now I think that uh, we have the last one. It's a Tung Trang. And before that, anybody else like to, um, to do again? Because some of them, some of you that uh, you say something to, uh, to me in the class, but if you like, to redo the interview again, uh, I'm willing to let you do that. Okay, besides two times. Khoi Nguyen or Nam An or Ting Ngang or Kim Ngang, any, uh, sorry, anyone else besides two times? Okay, now two times, go ahead with your, go into your microphone, okay? Yeah. I see that right. Okay, so now Dr. Long, um, okay, maybe you make, we make a short one now because after that we have a time to do some kind of uh, feedback and practice uh, of a pronunciation. Anyway, uh, Dr. Long, just, uh, uh, she is your, uh, your patient and you, you uh, just uh, go ahead with uh, your interview. Thank you. I'm ready. Yeah. Hello, Miss. My name is Long. Yes, and uh, uh, could you tell me uh, what's your name? Um, my name Long. Yes. Uh, what's brought you here today? Um, who you are? <laughs> yeah, I, I introduced before. I'm fifth year student with uh, Doctor Mindo. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, welcome. Hello, doctor. Yeah, I want to ask you some questions about your case. Uh, could, you, uh, could you tell me something to make up? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, what's brought you here today? Oh, um, this morning, I don't know, but I not uh, take anything yet, but I feel pain. In my abdominal. Yeah. After bring me come in the, your office. Yes. What exactly your pain? Yeah, I pain in the upper abdominal. Yes. Uh, could you describe your pain for me? I feel not content pain, but some up some down. Sometimes I feel look like this in the upper my abdominal. Sometimes I feel low in the level, but it still continue, continue look like circle, look like some very high pants. But after this, low level. Oh uh, yes. Um, so and this is our no pain, sharp pain, or something like. That. I feel, I feel look like something with in my stomach. Um, anything that trick I will tell? Um, I, I took some medication, look like Tyranon, but not the less. So, uh, I mean, uh, what, uh, what makes uh, the pain work? I just tell you about my level of pain. They not the uh, regular level, but sometimes they very painful, sometimes slow. 
But still keep the Seiko, Seiko look like this. Uh, is there anything uh, associated with uh, the pen? Mm, can you replace uh, your question for me, doctor? Uh, is there anything uh, that associated with the pen? Related okay. with pen? Yeah. I don't um, know, you know, because uh, I not eat yes. But I just take medication, but still there. Okay. Uh, um, is this a uh, constant or uh, uh, does the pants constant or does it come and go? Yeah, you know, I just tell you before. Um, yes. Sometimes I feel so look like something with in my stomach, but sometimes they glow. But I don't know, they keep up and down, up and down, look like this. Uh, does, the pen, uh, does the pen travel to someone somewhere in your body? I, I feel just in the upper, in my belly. Yeah. in my belly, not go somewhere. Have you taken any medication before? Yes, I tell you, I take some Tylenol, but not uh, feel better. Yeah. The doctor, what do you think, doctor? Because I need Help me. Um, oh, I, I think I'll have to discuss with the document. <laughs> okay. But um, I don't feel fever. I feel just painful. But sometimes I feel some look like shoulder. Um, The, the, you know, every morning before I have the problem too. But I give for you more information. You can talk with the, your um, doctor Mindo or something. Help me get better. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Hello, uh, Tun. Okay, now yeah. could you could you summarize? interview that you already carry out with Dr. Uh, yes. Um, um, Ms. Long admitted to the hospital with uh, belly pain um, from this morning. Um, uh, she has pain uh, 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 in uh, uh, upper current. Uh, um, it's a uh, it's a uh, concern uh, sometimes it's like squeaky in her uh, in her belly. Um, she uh, she uh, checked uh, some on uh, the the pain uh, doesn't uh, doesn't didn't radiate towards uh, somewhere. Um, she checked some I don't know before, but it uh, doesn't work. Um, she uh, have uh, um, she have to know history about uh, the pain like like this before. Um, that's uh, of my opinion. Okay, now, <laughs> okay, Doctor Loa, you just confirm with. With us, that uh, is a correct one. He, he missed something there. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Um. Yes. He at the first he followed the old car, but some he still missing. And other one, um, he asked me again, again. Um. Look like I don't know, but look like he my pronunciation not clear. He not understand, or he forgot what I tell him. I try. I tell him. Um, 
when the pen begins empty, my Thomas, and all the one uh, when the con he asked me content, I say no. Look like sometimes they wish and sometimes they glow level, but they keep the the same circle circle again and again. And all the other one I try, he not ask me about the fever or something. I try, I tell him. And all the other one I try, I prefer more for him. Talk with the doctor for me because I feel he asked me not enough question about Oscar. You know, um, look like with him. I feel if I the patient, I feel uncomfortable because um, uh, you know the communication with the patient very important. Uh, look like he need the focus on me and the eye contact on me and the reaction on me, but. Um, look like look like this, but I hope the next time um, interview need to frame more question. Look like writing the question. You can look in the paper, but you need the writing because you can cannot add the question for the patient again again. You know that the mentor for with the with the interview to me. Okay, but thank you so much. Okay, I thank totally you. agree with uh, Dr. Luang. I, I would like to tell you, Tun, number one, now, please, Tun, you are not serious to do that one. You keep smiling, nonsense at all, especially we talk to the patient. You didn't have good eye contact at all. So, just I expect that next time you should be more serious about that. Okay? Because like that, you like a, it's not good at all. It's not professional at all when you when you do that. Okay? And for example, sometimes Dr. Long asks you because she didn't catch what you mean, you repeat again and you repeat and do it faster and louder. So you not respect the patient, okay? Take my work for today, okay? And that improve next time. I waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dean. Yes. Okay. Now I think that mostly, mostly that we done, okay? Uh, I'm not on the cotton like I'm full, I'm <laughs> just full, but today I should uh, fix you something. Don't take uh, my uh, comments like offended because in my heart, I like you to improve your English, especially your skill, especially about your communication skill. It's not only the medical English, but your behavior, your attitude, and your voice is very important. Education, okay, so that's why we learned that today. Okay, now, uh, uh, before we go to the other part that we are about, uh, let me say, uh, hi, hi, Info, okay, Info has something um, to tell, okay. Um, come up by, I had a few um, issues. Um, first, I think we from the experiences would be, um. Saigon Medical Cafe and Da Nang Group. Um, I think we, if we're using the same format like this, and uh, seem like, you know, we spent two, three hours, and the student only has about 10, 15 minutes with us. Then the other one, other time, they be, you know, a bit distracting. They might be, you know, as hard the attention, you know, like, the attention to the class will be, sometimes it's not continuous. So I think next time um, I change the format like Dr. Lang and um, Min has said, we have to set up the camera more, you know, more global view. And uh, we, we do the group and it will be very fast and we leave the feedback at the end. So we don't spend too much time in between, with one student and we waste a lot of time in between. And the other thing I, I suggest, I might be, 
the how the way I, I had wrote in the in the um, in the Facebook. Um, when you ask a patient question, I seem like somehow not the way how you say it. I might be if I'm a patient, I might feel feel offended. What is your name? I sound like a bit, you know, I, I probably wouldn't like to hear that and my patient would probably wouldn't like to hear that. You probably said, could I have your name, please? Something, you're not, you're probably not sure how you say to the patient in Vietnam, but even on the consultant level, I'm very big in, you know, I'm very high ranking in, in terms of my medical profession. I'm still asking the patient, could I have your name, please? And something in mind, nice that when you start introducing yourself, hi, Dr. Min, or hi, my name is, it's something you get a bit of smooth selling, you know, say, my name is Yatun Tran, I'm a fifth year medical student, could you, would you mind if I can take the history from yours and I presume and present to my, you know, consultant. That's the way you're dealing, with, you know, the same level. A few sound like a lot of students still say, like, what is your problem? I don't have problem. I'm not, I'm not a criminal. You know, I come to see you at ask your advice. Could you rephrase it? Um, yeah, could I ask what is, what brought you here today? Like Dung Chan said, right, you know, what brought you here today? Could I have take, you know, to, can you tell me what, you know, what you, you know, what brought you here or what your problem so I can help you? Don't just say, what is your problem? I don't, as a, even a patient, I would be feel, feel very intimidating. So please rephrase nicely, introduce yourself in a way nicely, and and also some students said you you you, I think that the way how maybe the way you pronounce or the way you talk to you know in the Vietnamese the way you know, an an chi something, you you, and something you and stop there something very intimidating I felt very you know very 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 bossy very arrogant way, you could say you could say you are having, you are having you are your problem is this. Something is smooth to make me feel like I'm, you know, a bit nicer way. And I know that you're not unintentional when you say, but this is a way I need, you know, when you go to practice or you go to obviously your work, you have to feel that, that it will do different. That's the way how we express our, you know, self to the patient. Could I have your name, please? Something a very nice way. And you get a lot of, you know, you know, you know a lot of emotion that come out of it. So the next week, I think if I could get to sell a bit better and I could get, I would do the team between two teams and I'll get everyone involved and at the same time. So you don't have time to sit out in between and, and get, you know, lack of attention or spend too much time sitting, waiting for your turn. But again, anyway, Tung, I think I'm a bit disappointed with you, Tung. I think this is your second class. You have done it before. I think you should be better than this. You don't smile at me. You don't laugh at you know. You look here you know, that something so comfortable. Your position. You're not right. You are the doctor. You got to do something. You show your you know patient respecting you and respect the patient. It's nice to talk to the patient. Don't laugh. It's not. It's not kindergarten here. They got to talk to the patient and listen to them and follow what the patient asks you a question and you feel it. Sometimes you lack, you lost a bit, I lost a conversation between, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I fell asleep a bit, you know, that, that little conversation, but you, I think you expect more from you. You are, you know, this is your second classes. So again, next, uh, uh, English skill is, you know, skills still need a bit improving in terms of, you know, just speaking in the tone, monotone, no tone too much got to follow a little bit stressing where you need to talk. This is what our aim will teach you to get you through how you convert uh, your conversation better. So, but anyway, it's good. And then Vang, thank you very much for, you know, you organize all this, Chi Vang, Chi Luang, organize all these things. Uh, if you are very promising. We will we'll promise we'll make you in after the, you know, after nine, eight, 10 weeks, I'm sure you will gain a lot and you get better. Don't take us, you know, our comment on you as, you know, criticism. Just take it in. We, we talk from our heart. We want you to do better. And we see a lot of things you need to improve. And you take it. And don't take it lightly. Take it home. See why. I will keep, you know, we keep, you know, talking to you about this thing again and again. A lot of things you need to learn. 
you want to work in office is something there's a lot of things you need to improve your English skill grammar some of the grammar still bit you know need to improve don't say you just say you are you are your problem is something in a nicer way that way and it will good so I hope I see you next week and uh, I'll, I'll try to make the class a bit more interesting and if you know if it, um, I know that uh, you have a few doctors in there and I'm sorry it might be I might be, we are the same level. I, I never conceive myself at the level of the consultant or level of professor, whatever. So we might talk, I might have been a few doctors there when I criticize, but again, don't take it, you know, uh, as an offense. Just, I'll try to get everyone to do better. And I know Dr. Long put a lot of effort in here. I'm sure the end we will get more. So see you next week. I hope you practice. A Glenn Outcast still still need to, so much to learn on Outcast there. We need to get ourselves smooth and we'll get at the end. We'll, we'll be happy with it. Okay, happy class. I'll see you next week. Thank you, Dr. Fu. Okay, we very appreciate about that, your um, feedback or your yeah. opinion. Okay, now uh, before we uh, Close the class. We have something to. Um, I let you try to give some some feedback here. Okay, now it's a bonus for you. You can speak in Vietnamese now. That what you think? How we can improve our class for next time? Okay, and what we have to do for you because this one. Okay, some people maybe not. Um, feel interested or feel boring with the class or some people not speed up enough to uh, to the level of our class so just uh, please okay just tell tell us about your opinion your, your thinking okay okay you can speak in vietnamese it's okay so if you don't feel your english is good enough to this to to tell uh, your your thinking okay Ok, cứ gì nói em Cứ nói đi em ừ. Nghe con nói chú Nghe yeah, nghe yeah. à, Bữa nay em thấy nha Có cái hơi bất tiện là Được rồi, được kêu chú Dạ, cái âm thanh đó thầy tôi nó không có được tốt Đừng kêu thầy kêu anh chị được rồi <cười> Ok Ok à, Cái âm thanh của mình Cái âm thanh mình chưa cũng được chú đáo Nó chưa được tốt lắm dạ. cái, uh, Thứ hai là cái phần mà Nói của anh uh, Anh Minh đó Nghe hơi nhanh Ok Tại yeah. Tại vì uh, anh Minh Nhà em thiết nói đi nói đi tiếp tục nói tiếp tục nói nhưng okay. mà thấy em dạ hết rồi <cười> à, rồi à, các em khác cứ có ý kiến thì cứ nói đi mấy em cứ nói tiếng việt cũng được, cũng được mà đang để cho lớp mình tốt hơn thôi so hello um, miss loan yeah. so i have some opinion i, I think that like Um, Dr. Fu, it's quite like um, a bit um, tired. Em, right? em có yeah. thể nói tiếng Việt đi cho dễ hiểu hơn em. Dạ. Yeah. Um, dạ, em nghĩ là ở phút tới cuối đó là vậy thôi. Thôi mà tại vì có một chút xíu thôi. Thôi boring một chút đó tại vì là nó cứ lặp đi lặp lại lặp đi lặp lại giống như là từ cuối đến cuối đó thì em nghĩ là cho một buổi học đó thì có thể đưa ra một cái uh, case study um, để mình có uh, giống như cái uh, uh, keyword um, khác uh, cái mình cho cái uh, missing information sau đó mình uh, thêm uh, mình sẽ hỏi những câu để có cái information đó rồi mình nhớ À, và đưa ra cái chuẩn đoán như à, cái kết thúc đi lớp tức là nó giúp cho tụi em 
um, phát triển cái kỹ năng uh, tạo um, đưa ra cái án và cái phân biệt ok đã phù hơn dạ ok ok thank cảm ơn em cái này, dạ. mình, cái này mình nói thêm một chút xíu nha Ngày hôm dạ. nay là ngày đầu tiên Dạ Đó là chúng tôi ráng là mấy em tập cái old craft dạ. Và thật sự ra dạ. mấy em tập cũng chưa ra hồn nữa dạ. Thật sự vậy đó à, Do đó nói boring là là sai Không phải không ai sai, xin lỗi Boring là trúng Nhưng mà mấy em chưa làm được cái đó Ý là chúng, ta, chúng tôi là cố tình lặp, dạ. lặp lại Và mấy em listen để coi mấy bạn khác sai chỗ nào Mấy em không listen Hỏi lại là nói không trúng Chỉ lo mình thôi à Thế người khác nói là là Cái cái cái, cái tai của mình là đóng lại Không nghe gì hết Cái này ha, cái này là mấy em phải nghe người ta Để mấy em tìm ra coi người nó thiếu chỗ nào và sai chỗ nào Ngày hôm nay chỉ có một chuyện thôi Lập đi lập lại Lập đi lập lại Ôn khỏi Yeah. Mà mấy em làm được Mà cái này là chỉ có một lần thôi nha Là bữa nay thôi yeah. Những lần khác mấy em không có cơ hội làm như vậy thôi Anh anh Phú sẽ đét đòn mấy em nữa <cười> Thật sự vậy Là mấy em phải làm cho nó thuận Vô phải trình bày Mình rõ ràng Lên xuống cho nó trúng giọng Và hỏi những câu tập trung Theo cái hướng Của cái chẩn đoán mà mình nghĩ từ lúc ban đầu Tại vì tôi nói thế này, cái old class á, hầu hết trên đây là abdominal pain Mà mấy em không hiểu hỏi cái location chính xác của cái, cái bụng chỗ nào Là em mấy em rớt ngay từ đầu rồi Đúng không? On set là đồng ý, đồng ý là lúc nào Nhưng mà phải vào vô là hỏi location liền Tại vì những câu hỏi của chúng ta sẽ xoay quanh cái chỗ location đó Tại nếu cái bụng mà không phải thì mình sẽ hỏi kiểu khác Mà ở trên cái hạ sườn phải phải khác mà bên trái là khác phải không mà hầu hết các em á, xin lỗi nha, là không có xác định cái location mà giảng viên ở đây chúng tôi phải ráng gợi ý để cho mấy em đấy thấy cái location đó ngay mấy em sao hỏi hỏi là lan đi đâu chưa hỏi location là sao hỏi lan đi đâu do đó ngày hôm nay chỉ ngày hôm nay là nó rất là boring với mấy em nhưng mà mấy em chưa làm được là những câu rất đơn giản lặp đi lặp lại trong cái framework on call mà em chưa làm được làm sao mà mấy em nói chuyện với anh Phú được <cười> ok và yeah. những kỳ sao tôi hứa với mấy em là không có làm như thế này đâu tại vì sao em mấy em sẽ trình bệnh giờ mấy em report each other mỗi lần học là một kiểu khác nhau Chứ không phải cái kiểu này suốt từ đây trong 14 kiểu học Không có đâu à, Kiểu này là chỉ có bữa nay thôi Và để test trình độ nói chuyện của mấy em cái Cách giao tiếp của mấy em Cách lên xuống trọng của mấy em Đúng không? Mấy em làm, có nhiều người, nhiều em làm rất tốt Và tôi rất tiếc là tôi không đánh giá được toàn bộ Tại vì có một số em rất tốt Mà tôi xin lỗi nha, những em đó tốt quá đó Vì khi tôi bỏ qua Tôi kiếm mấy cái em mà tôi nghĩ là hơi dở dở tôi sẽ kéo lên trước Do đó, đó uh, như Ngọc Anh nói đó, thì đồng ý Tại Ngọc Anh trình độ cao rồi Tôi muốn làm người case report, ha, case study ha. Đừng có lo, cái đó nhiều lắm Vì sao là đe tu luôn á Xin lỗi, đe tu luôn á Mà hơn Lá chúng ta đừng step okay. Chúng ta đi đừng step Step 1, step 2, step 3 Step đây là step cơ bản đầu tiên Mà mấy em chưa làm tốt Xin lỗi Mấy em chưa làm tốt à, Về học lại Nhưng mà <cười> Cho em có ý kiến chút à, Em nói tiếng Việt Thì nó có thể dễ hơn cho các em hiểu à, Cái quan trọng nhất là Mình phải ghét Mình phải làm sao cho cái Bệnh nhân tin mình Khi mà mấy em phỏng vấn Mấy em phỏng vấn thì follow của Oka là good rồi Nhưng mà để tốt như anh Đinh Thì có thể mấy em về Mấy em viết ra từng câu hỏi Để khi mấy em phỏng vấn bệnh nhân Có thể mấy em nhìn cho những cái câu hỏi đó Để mình không có, có mất cái phần nào Nhưng mà cái quan trọng nhất Là mấy em vô phòng bệnh nhân Là chắc chắn
chắn trong đầu mấy em đã biết bệnh nhân rồi Không thể nào mấy em vô để mấy em hỏi bệnh nhân là có phải bệnh nhân hay không Mấy em đã biết bệnh nhân đó là ai rồi Bây giờ vô tới phòng bệnh thì mấy em phải make sure là mấy em đi đúng cái room bệnh nhân, đúng cái phòng bệnh nhân Thành thử ra mấy em cần phải xác định bệnh nhân một lần nữa để coi có đúng cái bệnh nhân hay không Là mấy, mấy em cần phải làm cái đó mấy em vô, mấy em giới thiệu rồi mấy em bắt đầu hỏi 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 Mấy em cần phải xác định đúng bệnh nhân Rồi bắt đầu câu hỏi Thì khi mà bệnh nhân trả lời Bệnh nhân hỏi mấy em Thì mấy em phải trả lời bệnh nhân cái câu hỏi đó Rồi mấy em mới tiếp tục cái câu hỏi mấy em Tôi thấy là Bệnh nhân Dr. Đỗ, Minh Đỗ đó, hỏi Mấy em nhiều cái câu hỏi mà mấy em không trả lời Mấy em tiếp tục mấy em hỏi bệnh nhân hỏi bệnh nhân như vậy thì cũng không phải là tốt trong cái communication Mình phải low and down để mình đợi coi bệnh nhân có bằng lòng với cái mình trả lời hay không Rồi mình tiếp tục để mình follow cái câu hỏi Giống như mấy em vô, mấy em cứ tập trung vô cái ô kha mấy em không hỏi Mà bệnh nhân cần để mấy em giải thích thì mấy em không giải thích rõ Mình thử ra cũng đừng có lo là như thế nào để mình Thời gian như thế nào mà mấy em phải tập trung vô coi coi bệnh nhân có hợp tác với mình hay không Nhiều bệnh nhân đau quá mấy em tiếp tục hỏi hỏi người ta Get out my room you know, đã, đã xảy ra ở bên ở bên đây rồi Thành ra thành ra mấy em phải tập cái, cái phong cách là mình phải tôn trọng bệnh nhân Từng lời nói, từng câu hỏi của bệnh nhân Như vậy thì mấy em mới 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 làm tốt trong cái vấn đề giao tiếp với bệnh nhân được à, Đồng ý với lại một bạn đề nghị là mình sẽ trên cái topic đồng ý Nhưng mà mấy em đừng có lo Mỗi một lớp nó sẽ có một cái dạng khác nhau để mấy em học Thì à, anh Đinh sẽ bỏ lên trên cái cái kê tròn đó mấy em nhìn cái cách để mấy em làm mấy em follow đó trước đi Rồi à, rồi mỗi một cái buổi học như thế này Mình sẽ rút ra những cái gì để mình cần tìm ru Ở bên à, bên giảng viên Rồi cần tìm ru ở bên học viên Thì như vậy mình mới bắt đầu mình mới tiến bộ được Với một cái nữa hồi nãy về à, Tuấn Thì thật ra những cái câu phê những cái câu mà feedback như vậy á, thì em cũng đừng có ghép serial tại vì mình cần phải fit với nhau tại chỗ để em biết những cái gì để mình tìm ru mục đích của bên đây à, của các anh chị bên đây thì muốn cho mấy em giỏi mấy em có thể là tốt sau cái lớp học này thành ra thấy cái gì chỉ ngay cái đó Thành ra đừng có serious lắm để về nhà cảm thấy không tốt hay gì Không, cái đó không có Qua cái lớp học này mình bỏ hết Mình nói với nhau rồi mình bỏ hết Rồi ai có cái khuyết điểm gì bản thân của của của, của tôi cũng vậy Ví dụ như um, tôi cũng cảm thấy có rất nhiều là mistake Tại vì không có chuẩn bị tốt Thành ra đặt những mấy em đặt những câu hỏi thì lèo lái theo cái kiến thức của mình thôi chứ không có không có chuẩn bị tốt nữa bản thân của tôi cũng thấy như vậy rồi mấy em có ý kiến tiếp minh đổ đâu rồi kìa ở kìa dạ dạ thì đây bữa đầu tiên thì hy vọng mọi người có làm quen với nhau biết được cái khả năng cái năng lực của nhau thì mình tương tác mà cho nên sẽ điều chỉnh từ từ à, phù hợp với mỗi người à, phù hợp với trình độ chung của lớp à, dĩ nhiên mặt lớp mà chán quá thì người học cũng không có hứng không có theo theo còn người dạy mà người học không hứng thì cũng cũng nản à, nhưng mà sẽ hai bên cần hai bên cùng cố gắng à, à, nếu mà mấy bạn à, hiểu được cái mục tiêu của từng cái cái buổi đó thì chắc là sẽ tập trung hơn à, ví dụ như bữa nay cái mục tiêu của mình là à, hoàn thiện à, chuẩn hóa cái ô cạp đó à, thì nếu mà mình à, bị hỏi 
làm sao tóm tắt lại được uh, hay là còn bạn mình hỏi thiếu câu gì không mình trả lời không được nghĩa là mình không có theo kịp rồi thì uh, thì ráng hàng chỉ những cái đó trước trước khi mình tiến tới bước sau um, cái việc mà đưa ra cái cái buổi hôm nay không phải là vì không có gì khác để làm phải làm cái này đâu à, kinh nghiệm mấy cái mấy lần lần trước nó vậy rồi cho nên là à, hy vọng mấy bạn à, chịu khó à, luyện luyện cho kỹ lại chút xíu như mình có nói với bạn hôm hồi nãy đó à, ráng làm sao để mình đừng phải suy nghĩ là hỏi làm sao nữa cái câu hỏi trong người mình rồi trong đầu mình rồi cứ gặp là mình cứ hỏi ra thôi chứ đừng có hỏi đặt câu chia ngữ pháp rồi chia chia từ nữa khi khi đó là không không nhớ người ta trả lời gì hết trơn á rồi xong là hỏi tới hỏi lui nữa thì là, là, là cả hai đều đều không hài lòng à, cho nên là cứ soạn soạn ra mấy câu rồi cứ theo cái quy trình mà cứ cứ hỏi thôi như vậy là mới mới đạt à, tại đây mới chỉ là cái đơn giản nhất hỏi về đâu thôi mà còn những cái khác những cái chuyện gặp cái chuyện gì đó mình không có chưa có chẩn đoán ra nữa thì khi đó là còn vừa suy nghĩ đặt câu ra làm sao rồi vừa hỏi làm sao cho đúng nữa thì, thì mình không có không có làm không có hỏi bệnh được đâu à, thôi chịu khó chỉ có một buổi thôi chứ không có buổi hai như vậy nữa đâu cho nên là à, à, bạn nào thấy chưa có hoàn thiện thì chịu khó về nhà tập lại tập với nhau rồi à, À, cũng à, trong trong quá trình mình làm việc với nhau thì có gì cần à, điều chỉnh có gì cần góp ý thì mình cứ cứ mạnh dạn trao đổi đừng có ngại à, thì cái đó là à, để mọi người cùng cùng tiến bộ rồi tôi cũng xin nói thêm đó là tôi bữa nay tôi nói hơi mạnh đó. <cười> nhưng mà mấy em đừng có lấy cái đó là buồn lòng gì đó thì bản thân tôi là tôi muốn mấy em nổi lên mà tôi hồi nhỏ tôi nhớ đó. Mà ông thầy nào mà càng khó đó Càng giúp mình Còn ông thầy nào mà dễ quá đó Điều giúp mình à, Do đó Cái, cái, cái expectation của tôi đó, Nó cao lắm Thì mấy em ráng đi theo đó Được cái nào hay cái nấy Chứ bà đừng có xí, xí xóa quá Xì xò quá Là sẽ không không ích lại cho mấy em Chứ bản thân tôi tôi không có ghét người này chưa người kia gì cả mà muốn cho mấy em thành công trong cái việc còn cái về cái thời khóa biểu mấy em sẽ xem lại mấy em cứ xem lại đã post trên facebook của mấy em rồi mỗi cái section gì nó có một cái đề tài mỗi đề tài nó sẽ có một cái cách cấu trúc học khác nhau mà mấy em nhìn lại những cái section cuối cùng mấy em sẽ thấy cái tình bệnh đó cái đó là rất là phức tạp đòi hỏi vừa vừa kiến thức về y khoa của các em và kiến thức về tiếng anh của mấy em luôn đừng có sợ cái đó nha. đi tới mình sẽ đi từ từ mình muốn đi từng đi cái từ cái dễ đi tới cái khó thì cái dễ ngày hôm nay hôm nay là cái thứ dễ nhất xin nói lỗi nha hôm nay là cái thứ dễ nhất trong cái cái cái, 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 cái medical english thì mấy em dợt lại nó đầy đủ để chuẩn bị vì sao anh Phú anh sẽ dợt mấy em <cười> ok nhưng mà đừng có sợ nha lúc nào cũng vậy đó mấy thầy ở đây hay mấy người coi cũng vậy là là mấy em làm làm sai lỗi chúng tôi không có không có chấp nhất cái đó còn cái sai lỗi là cái trúng cái không ai cái trúng mà, cái... mà từ cái sai đó chúng tôi mới biết cái chỗ nào để sửa cho mấy em cho đừng có sợ về thoải mái không có sợ là ôi uh, ông đi này ông đi mình hay là gì không 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 bao giờ tôi không bao giờ nghĩ tới những cái chuyện đó ha mấy em cứ về thoải mái nhưng mà mình thấy mình thấy á, mình làm dở chừng nào á mình sẽ học dữ chừng đấy còn hãy mình thấy mình ngon lắm rồi em sửa rồi không có học vậy bỏ ok Dạ, thầy ơi, thầy có ý kiến tốt Để tôi ngỏ qua anh đi mà có ý kiến Dạ, tại vì cái bài của mình có ý kiến Nhưng mà thật ra, hỏi bệnh của mình á Là chuyên mà hành lời kia Có bệnh thì chúng ta hỏi ra được cái vấn đề định nhân Thế nghĩa là cái cái phần mà cái cấu trúc hỏi thì đã có rồi Nhưng mà thật sự là để mà mình có hoạt được Cái đó mình hỏi là để ra được vấn đề của định nhân Thật sự là mình không có đủ để hỏi 
nói vấn đề đó không phải là cái bài diễn nó chết mà cái làm hỏi chi là lập đi lập lại thì nhiều lần nhưng mà cái vấn đề đó mình cũng chưa có hoàn thiện được cái thứ hai nữa là em nghĩ là em phải thích cái này chết mà cái thời gian gì chứ chứ không tại vì cái cái mình nó chậm dần như đó là cái giờ của nhau của mình thì nó hơi sớm hơn cái giờ ban đầu cái đó nếu vậy thì mình về cái cảm của mình nó khoảng chín rưỡi rồi mình, mình gửi ra là cái thực chất hơn tại vì cái phần của mình thì mình chín đầu mình gửi ra cái phần thì khoảng có hai cái cái mình chỉ theo dõi nó cái liên tục dạ được thành công còn cái bài diễn thì em nghĩ là tại vì cái bộ thì nó theo em đó thì bài này hôm nay không phải là chén mà là thật ra là mặc dù học 3 tiếng cái vấn đề lập đi lập lại nhưng mà mình em chưa có thấy là một bạn nào uh, hoàn thiện được cái vấn đề hỏi của mình hết á mà chưa hỏi được thì uh, thật ra đưa ra chuẩn đoán thì khám thì ngoài cái uh, hỏi thì còn khám nữa cho nên nếu chỉ hỏi xong mà đưa ra chuẩn đoán thì thật ra nó không có đúng cái vấn đề như thế này em thấy cái này chỉ là bài cơ bản thôi mình ừ. Để tôi nói như thế này cho mấy em rõ nha Những cái lớp trước chúng tôi rút kinh nghiệm rồi Thì cái lớp này là chúng tôi đã tuyển chọn mấy em là phải từ sinh viên Y4, Y5 trở lên đúng không? Y6 Do đó mấy em đã học qua bệnh học rồi Đúng không? Do đó, khi mà chúng tôi làm bệnh nhân á Trong đầu chúng tôi đã chúng tôi biết là chúng tôi bị bệnh gì rồi Thì nếu mà nếu là thần giao cách cảm á Mấy em hỏi vài câu thôi á Là mấy em phải nghĩ tới cái này là cái bệnh gì Mấy em đâu phải là sinh viên năm thứ nhất, thứ hai đâu Do đó cái cách hỏi của mấy em á Nó không match với cái kiến thức y khoa của mấy em Đúng không? Do đó khi mà một người bước vô mà hỏi Vài ba câu là tôi biết là cái người này biết hay không biết rồi Do đó cái cách hỏi của mấy em á Sẽ chứng tỏ được là em biết cái vấn đề đó hay không, Đúng không? Còn cái ô kha của chúng ta là trình bày là vàng ra Giống như mình ra chợ vậy đó Đóng hàng trong ngoài đó Nhưng mà mình phải biết 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 khắp Cái hàng nào là cái hàng chính mình mua Nghe em phải không à, Giờ đó Tập lại nha Cái này ha Cái đó là Mình đi qua rồi Bữa nay mình không đi trở lại nữa Nhưng mà để ý cái đó trở lại à, Là phải Khi mình hỏi mình phải tập trung Mình biết là mình sẽ đi tới đâu Giống như tôi nói Lái xe trong thành phố Mấy em hai cách lái Một là mấy em lái lung tung Đi lung tung hết Bến Ninh Kiều hay là cái gì hết Xin, xin, xin lỗi không nhớ hay khác. Còn cái một cái nữa là em đi tới đâu Em đi tới trường đại học Em phải biết cái đường nào đi Chứ không phải em quẹo chỗ này quẹo chỗ kia Do đó cái cách khỏi của mấy em á Là tại vì em hỏi chỉ, chỉ cần em, em chỉ cần hỏi location của cái pen không á Là em tập trung ngay Cái khu đó là khu nào rồi Chứ không có hỏi lung tung có những người lại lặp đi lặp lại mặc dầu giảng viên đã nói rồi mà vẫn hỏi nữa là tức là không cách gì hết trong đầu không có đi vô trong đầu đúng không Đó. rồi nhiều khi giảng viên gợi ý gợi ý là tôi có cái này nè không thêm hỏi em biết không do đó cái này đâu phải là cái lớp anh văn thông thường đây là lớp anh văn kết hợp với y khoa mấy em phải dùng kiến thức y khoa để em diễn đạt qua tiếng Anh để mà communication ngoài vấn đề là cái thái độ tiếp xúc của mấy em như chúng tôi đã phê phán cái này thì dễ rồi nhưng mà cái cái cách để hỏi đó cũng là một cái vấn đề mấy em phải nhớ ok Dr Loan Dr Dr Minh any any uh, có gì ý kiến thêm nữa không à, rất là cảm ơn mấy em mà có mặt đầy đủ <cười> hy vọng là lần sau mấy em cũng như vậy đừng có ai vắng hết <cười> đừng có sợ nha Ê, có sợ ha tôi hồi đó đi học mấy ông thầy mà 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 ở trong lớp tôi hồi đó tôi học thường đi ký trên diễn ký ở trên sài gòn á có một bà thầy rất dữ bà tên là uh, bà như thiên tôi. mà ở trong lớp nó đặt là bà thiên lôi bà vô là... <cười> nhưng mà cái cái cái, cái cái tồn tại lại của tôi từ bà thiên hương đó đó tôi nhớ rất dữ tại vì bà dữ quá do đó là về lịch sử địa lý là tôi nhớ gần mặt tại vì bà 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 hành mình quá do đó mấy em cũng vậy thôi tôi ở đây thì thực ra anh phú cũng là thuộc loại ông già khó tính đó nha 
<cười> tôi thì không bài bằng nhưng mà mấy em chuẩn bị làm cho tốt mà đừng nếu mà có sai không sao đó không có ai nghĩ cái chuyện đó đâu để muốn mấy em tốt thôi chứ không gì hình như có minh thư em có ý kiến gì không dạ em chào thầy cô em được những cái buổi học hôm nay cho nên em xin phép để có một ý kiến bởi vì em ít bị áp lực hơn 15 bạn còn lại cho nên là việc đầu tiên là em cũng xin lỗi do cái chuẩn bị về mặt thực về phía phụ trách thì nó chưa được tốt cho nên em sẽ cố gắng trong tuần này để mà nhờ nhà trường hỗ trợ thêm còn về cái nội dung học thì theo như cách điều chỉnh của thầy đi thì em hiểu là cấu trúc của các bạn nó đã theo một cái trình tự hợp lý cho nên là mình tôn trọng cái cấu trúc này thì nó sẽ giúp các em thấy được một cái phương pháp và một cái gọi là cái, một cái quá trình để mà cho nên em nghĩ là mình không tự phát để mà các cái nhu cầu cái thời gian mà mình một cách mà quá quá nhiều để tránh đảm bảo cái khối lượng công việc hơn còn nhưng mà em xin mong muốn là khi mà em đến vô cái lớp này á thì em mong muốn có mục tiêu và có một cái bản kế tiếp tức là cứ mỗi một phần uh, trình bày của mỗi bạn á thì mình có thể kế tiếp là mình đã đặt được những cái kỹ năng mục tiêu về kỹ năng ở đây mình không đặt nặng mục tiêu về chuyên môn mục tiêu về kỹ năng của của cái bài giảng mình cho nên em cũng rất là mong muốn là khi mình ngồi thì mình biết là bạn này đã đạt được những cái điểm kết thúc nào tốt rồi. Thì bạn đó sẽ quy Và trong cái phần kết luận tổng kết một cái buổi học á Thì nhờ thầy cô dành là Ví dụ như thầy cô ra những cái sai, những cái lỗi mà phổ biến của 15 bạn Để mà mình có kinh trung và một số cái những cái câu mà nó rất là ưu điểm Ở từng cái phần trình bày từng phần hỏi bận của các bạn Em xin có vài ý kiến vậy Yeah. Thì uh, uh, trước mắt đó là tôi xin có ý kiến Thì giống như là Minh Thư nói Thì hồi nãy giờ bác sĩ Đinh, bác sĩ Minh Đỗ Cũng như tôi cũng nhận xét những cái tốt của các bạn Tức là các bạn follow cái OCA Nhưng mà vẫn còn thiếu những cái mặt gì Cái gì giống như là cái location Rồi trong cái cách giao tiếp Thì các cũng đưa ra những cái gì các bạn thiếu những cái gì mà các bạn làm tốt Thì cũng có nói với nhau Qua cái đó rồi Nhưng mà qua cái lời của Minh Thư Đề nghị ấy, thì Hy vọng là uh, Dr. Dean là, là là Cái người mà chủ trì lớp hôm nay Sẽ có những cái feedback Rõ ràng để cho Học viên Biết cái mặt nào yếu Mặt nào không yếu Mặc dù mình có nói rồi có thể là À, bây giờ thì thời gian đối với ở bên Canada thì quá khuya rồi Lúc lai là hơn nửa đêm của anh Đinh rồi Thành ra tôi hy vọng là có thể mình trao đổi ở trong cái 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 messenger Thì cái đó nó sẽ có thời gian để anh Đinh sẽ thách nó Rồi các bạn chịu khó là vô để đọc Chứ bây giờ mình bỏ lên cái Facebook thì thấy đâu hai ba ngày gì đó mới có mới đầy đủ người để đọc thì các bạn trong lớp cũng cố gắng Tức là mình sẽ mở Facebook thường xuyên Để có những cái gì mình trao đổi trên đó nhiều hơn Bởi vì thời gian thì Lúc đầu mình quy định có 2 tiếng Mình kéo dài 3 tiếng Bây giờ tới 3 tiếng rưỡi rồi Thì thí dụ như bên tôi thì rất là tốt Giờ mới có 9 giờ thôi Nhưng mà bên Minh Đỗ thì cũng gần nửa đêm Rồi ở bên Ending thì quá nửa đêm rồi Thành thử ra các bạn cũng thông cảm về cái mặt thời gian để mình ngồi đây, mình bàn luận. Thì có ý kiến như vậy đó, anh Đinh còn có ý kiến sau cùng gì không để cho anh Đinh nghỉ? <cười> Xin lỗi. Không sao đâu, không sao đâu, vì gì mấy em thôi, tôi không có thức tới 5 giờ sáng còn được mà. <cười> Nhưng mấy em thức cũng nổi. <cười> cái này nhé, à, thứ nhất ra tôi rất là tiếc là không để cho đầy đủ các em nói chuyện ngày hôm nay. Tôi biết là một số em rất là giỏi <cười> nói chuyện nhưng mà tôi không không có thì giờ để nói. 
mà như vậy cái chuyện này là chuyện khó chắc rất là khó Vì do lý do đó ha, Ron nên nhớ nha là lúc đầu mình tính tính hạn tính mười người thôi lý do là như vậy đó cứ bùng lên hai chục người là mình thấy tiêu rồi bây giờ mười lăm người là thấy là cũng hợp rồi đó do đó hồi xưa tôi tính là chỉ mười người thôi thì sẽ dễ rất nhiều mấy bạn sẽ nói chuyện rất nhiều đó là cái hạn chế của mình chỗ đó thì thôi cái đó à, thực tế khách quan như thế này rồi còn người bây giờ mình nói về tổng kết chung của hôm nay đó, thì thứ nhất á là mấy em hiện đầy đủ tôi rất là vui và mấy em có học bài chứ không có học bài từ một số em thì không có chuẩn bị tốt cái đó cũng sự thật như thế nhưng mà hầu hết các em chuẩn bị tốt chuẩn bị có học bài và mấy em làm tốt nói chung là làm tốt những cái mà thiếu sót mà chúng tôi chỉ ra đó để mục đích hỗ trợ cho mấy em làm tốt hơn thôi chứ không phải mấy em làm tốt đâu so với ba cái lớp trước của chúng tôi đó, là cái lớp ở Sài Gòn Cà Phê lớp Đà Nẵng và lớp ở thành phố Hồ Chí Minh đó, là cái lớp này tốt hơn nhiều lắm mấy em nói chuyện đó là chuẩn bị này à, rất là tôi, tôi rất là, là là vui khi mà thấy mấy em làm được cái này nhưng mà mình đó là mình ham mình muốn mà mấy em làm tốt hơn nữa <cười> do đó là lý do là như vậy do đó, do đó mấy em đừng có buồn nha những cái những cái gì mà tôi chỉ ra hay những cái gì mà tôi phê phán đó, đó là là mục đích chỉ là giúp đỡ mấy em thôi chứ tôi không có được lợi lộc gì hết á trong cái này nha chỉ có là lỗ thôi chứ không có lợi gì hết <cười> sợ nhiều khi mấy em ghét <cười> rồi à, còn gì nữa không như thế ha thì như thế này à, mấy em có thể à, có những cái feedback nào đó cứ post lên facebook tại vì tôi và bác sĩ loan cũng như bác sĩ minh đỗ và bác sĩ win là theo dõi thường xuyên cái chỗ đó tại vì nó có đầy đủ á, thì chúng tôi có thể dựa vô đó để có thể chỉnh chỉnh sửa cho mấy em à, như vậy à, còn cái tuần sau nói trở lại nha ngày thứ ba tuần sau chắc ngày thứ ba thứ tư gì đó là mấy em phải nộp cái à, bài tập về pronunciation mà Dr. Phú giao cho hả không? Cái đó là là là, là phải có. Ha. Thứ hai nữa phải đọc lại kỹ các bài của bác sĩ Phú mà tôi nghĩ để tôi có in đây rồi. Cái quan trọng nhất của mấy em á là mấy em đọc cái um, history checking the overview. Cái đó là cơ bản, em phải đọc cái đó. Còn mấy cái kia thì có thì giờ đọc thêm. Do đó thì anh Phú sẽ hướng dẫn mấy em làm như thế nào để đó. Okay. Any more any questions? Dạ cảm ơn thầy cô. Uh, rồi bye, bye. Bye. bye bye ha. Ok, have a nice day. Ok, bye bye. Mm-hmm. Okay.